for being late to the stream. I was cooking dinner and I had to make a cup of coffee, but hey, fear not, we're here. We're going to be doing our spirit perfume ingredient gathering today. I figured we're in the mood for more alchemy and what better way to do it than to jump into Kama Sylvia and start gathering all of the flowers we need, all of the dead tree essence. I'm not going to need to gather any of the trace of darkness but i will show you guys how to use the byproducts to go ahead and well the alchemy product byproducts to exchange into the powder of darkness but to start off we are coming out here to the navarin step navarin step has the best places for all of your flower needs i'm already geared up I can easily apply my buffs, so let's get out there and start our gathering, shall we? I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. I don't know what the new update is about yet, but I hope you guys are looking forward to the new update. If you guys have gotten any good gathering, life skilling, mob grinding, and or enhancing goals met, please do let me know. I'm all ears, but I hope you guys can hear, see, and everything is working all correctly. I do have my sounds working now, so... You guys can put in the channel points for the sound effects and all. Hopefully that should be working. And the browser source will give me the notification. All that good stuff. But let's just jump into this after I get all of my tags and title. All that good stuff set up. Not going to take me long. Don't worry. Okay, so. First things first. Let's copy these because I do have at least some idea of the tags that I'm going to be using in the game title, obviously. The game title we know. I have to make sure not to aggro the griffin. I mean, of course, I can I can attack him and all, but I don't really want to go after the, the griffin. And uh, another concern of mine is I hope my internet and my webcam last. <laughs> Always a problem. Always a problem. All right, let's add our tags. Let's get our game title. Cool, cool. Save. And our last thing is to get this off and on. And I think I'm ready. Yeah, I think I'm ready now. It's going to be a quick little session. I'm not going to need too many ingredients. I... Pretty much have a good amount. I am going to buff up a little bit more just to give myself a little bit more of an edge. But we're out here. We can gather the flowers, the yellow flower, the violet flower, sky blue, the blue flower. doesn't really matter which one. It's whichever one we can readily availably get. And for that, I do have the 2k yellow flower. That's not a problem. So if I don't feel like gathering the flowers anymore, I can still continue to do my alchemy. I can run over to the loopy trees. But that's another thing. We're going to have to hit up the loopy trees, the moss trees for the dead tree essence, which I think I will stay to Kama Silv just in case I do have a backup plan. I can always head out to Garmi. It's weird seeing another player out here. I know they're doing a boss, the griffin and all. It's just really fucking weird. Mm -hmm. I do apologize if the sound is a little wonky. I have to have my AC running because it's extremely hot in here, obviously. The weather's starting to get better. We had a relatively long night ahead of us. That's why I'm like, let's get our flowers gathered. Let's start getting all of that put together. Then we can move on to getting our dead tree essence. We can get our sap. The sap is what I'm... No, I think it's a dead tree essence I'm going to need a lot of. Because I'm halfway there for what I need. What's up, OC? How's... How you doing, man? Channel member. Huge shout out. How are you doing today? Any goals met? Anything planned out for your weekend before the new update comes out on Wednesday? I'm all ears. And I got my soundboard working, so you guys can put in the channel points, I think it is, for your little sound effects. I know people have been, like, putting them in and trying to get the sounds working and all, but I finally got it all set up. I think I, I have it. We have a new goal set up. All that good stuff. 
I'm trying to be a little bit more immersive with you guys. Oh, sh I was trying to avoid that, but you know what? YOLO. If I'm out here and that griffin wants to smoke, let's go. And come on, your boy's sporting a new in combat upgrade. You're in my flower area. Alright, can you please back up? Damn, it's like fucking Elden Ring all over again, I swear. Ah, oh, he got me. Getting the alts turning up to pro one now to drag back drag it back out to pilgrims where it belongs to hit the rocks. And I'm so I'm so angry at the fact that even though we do all of that, it's not gonna matter. Like at the end of the day, all of that shit is gonna be thrown in the trash. All I could do is just get them parked and their gear ready. And I hate that aspect. Stun on stun on stun. Ah! Come on, hurry up. You're in my flower gathering vicinity, kind sir and or madam. Could you vacate the area? Yeah, if it wasn't being just tossed out all willy-nilly, that'd be fine. It's just... I know, come June or July, it's being tossed out all willy-nilly, you know? We got a Bassy Belt and... an Eclipse Belt. Not caring, don't need it, but that will, no, will offer me some nice, decent money, a little income on the side. Switch, switch, there we go. Now let's go back to gathering our flowers. And for this, I think I will throw on my sharp, pop it, switch off my cons. Maximize my drops that I can get. We'll get 2k flowers. I have enough energy pots to pop when my energy does get low. So I'm not really concerned about that. We'll do that, then we'll switch off to the sap or the dead tree essence, whichever one I run up to first. From there, we will head out to Olivia to get our... I think it's 1k powder of darkness I'm going to need. Maybe. Because I got like 9,000 9, something. 9k and change. Just ready and waiting. But we have the byproduct. That'll help out. It should be a quick, easy little session. Nothing too extreme. I think an hour will get the 2k flowers. It doesn't matter which one you're going for. So if you're doing a little mixture like I am, you're still going to get the same amount. Like, look at that. We're already 300, 200. I haven't really came across the violet, but the two flowers that we can use for the, the spirit perfume elixir. It should be able to, to gather up Enough for at least a thousand, I think. I'm thinking a thousand. And who'd have thought you spending your, your night picking flowers? <laughs> if this is not the definition of life skilling, I don't know what is. Let's be real. I'm just going around picking flowers. It's 2k, and then we're done on the flowers. We can move on to the next ingredient. Which I was already over here, of course. Of course! Where are those? Wild herbs. I don't need wild herbs. Obviously, we don't need wild herbs. Violet flower, violet flower, and blue flower. I'm hoping to get that stupid little mini game and get a ginseng while I'm out here. That'd be great. Coming out to gather flowers and you get an instant five bill. Now the question is, if you get another one, 
Do you sell it or do you pop it? Oh, come on, homies. I don't want feather wolves. I want the flowers. All right, we got to we got to turn around because those guys are a little angry at me. I'm not sure why. It's not even their flowers, man. Fucking mouse to move is not helping me out. Yeah, see, not helping me out any. <laughs> There's so many flowers, that's why I come out here to Kama. You can easily do this in Land of the Morning Light, too. It's just... Come on. Kama has all of it, all in one little field. How can you not come out here and gather for it? If you're in the mood to make your spirit perfume. I do know it's not exactly the best money maker because the cost of crafting is a little bit under the cost you're making. It's like 20, 20 mil under what you... The cost of crafting is 20 mil under what you'd make. At least that's what BDO Lytics is telling me. I could be wrong. But for the most part, if that's what I'm reading, I'm not going to really go for like, this is a huge, great profit to go for. But if you guys are in the market for trying to do some alchemy, get some levels, make a little bit of money on the side or something... At least you know all of your ingredients are not going to complete fucking waste like if you're, say, making Clown's Blood. Or making the Sinner's Blood. Turn around. Where are you? Right there. Oh, am I now collecting sky blue flowers? Yeah, fucking randomly. I don't care. All the flowers can be used. All the flowers can be sold. They're not that valuable, but they do have a little value on it. There is something that can be made from it. If it's not going to be like 100 mil, 200 mil, it's still a decent amount. For the accessory, or not the accessory, wow. For the elixirs, it will take 58 mil, 54 to 58 mil worth of flowers, so... There, you got a value of flowers we're throwing in here. I'm not worried. A little bit more energy, and I should be safe to pop an energy on it. Keep myself up. That way I can burn my energy out here and still regen all of my energy for when I'm out there sapping. Let me pop my villa buff. Let's not forget about that. Oh. Oh, there is one more buff that I am forget. There's an event going on. What the fuck am I doing with my life? Pop the event buff, villa buff. And let me make sure we repair and remote collect that bitch. I don't like having my tent just sitting there out in the wild in such a large area. I don't like having to chase it down. But what is up, everyone? I miss you guys. I miss socializing with you. It's great to be back. You guys keep it interesting. I have to give you guys more appreciation. You know, I, I don't appreciate you guys enough in the, the chat. Give you guys enough compliments. So, here's a huge shout out to all of you guys. My channel member, OC. Ulki is loopy tree sap gathering or moss tree sap better. Um, For the dead tree essence, I'm pretty sure we can, we only have the option of chopping for it. And even with that, I want to say the the dead pine trees are the better ones, or the dry pine, or whatever it is. The ones out in Garmoth. 
like the those ones are a lot better for going for your dead tree essence than the moss or the luffy tree and out of the two to be honest with you i think the moss tree might be a uh, good running for the dead tree essence we're gonna find out though i need to i need to hit up the loopy and i'm gonna hit up the moss trees for the essence more compliments please you guys are so entertaining you guys keep me keep me enthralled make me want to come back you guys make me want to keep making content even if it's like completely wrong and i sound batshit crazy like a, a dude that owns 40 cats i own 10 all right not 10 but still a high number gotta look for a bit while you blindly try and make your way back to pilgrim from valencia <laughs> oh d okay so here's the perfect way to do it i don't know if you have your view distance up all the way or not but if you go up the hill from pilgrims and you look directly across where valencia is you should see the steeple. It's one straight run from there. Just look for the top of the palace. If you have your view distance. If not, just turn your view distance up long enough to see the, the steeple. Like, you can see it from Pilgrim's Haven. Like, there's no missing it. So, just, like, turn it on. Look at it. See the direction. Turn it off. And one straight run. As long as you don't get into a portal. I do know that off the top of my head. When it comes to navigating the desert... Because I don't have my compass, I have learned stupid little ways of going about navigating without it. Like in Minecraft, like I, I shit you not. If you can remember how your sky, the, the clouds in the sky is, you can easily find your chunk. And if you ever get lost and need to figure out where north is, like I shit you not, just look for a pumpkin, bro. The pumpkin stem will point the way. <laughs> so it's little things like that like I've had to figure out and and get around not having certain things in whatever game I'm playing. Like Margoria. Margoria, I know the easiest way to go, like get to Land of the Morning Light without having a compass, is to sail up to where Pirate Island is, and it's one direct straight diagonal path. As long as you don't get into any monster direction, but even then you can breezy sail your way out. Yeah, and just little tips and tricks to get your way through not having the stupid little compass and shit like that. Oh, fuck you, Black Leopard. Jesus, fuck. I know he's there, and I continuously run there. Like, I'm dumb as fuck. We are at 700 blue flowers, 600 yellow... 200, almost 300 of the sky blue and almost 400 of the violet. And we're only 18 minutes in, which is great. That allows us to separate more time into getting our sap, our dead tree essence. Like I said, from doing all of my alchemy already, I have 500 of the dead tree essence on hand. So it's not going to be a longer, longer session than what it needs to be. flowers i can get rid of that keep an eye on my drops you know <laughs> yep pile of flower Oh, any more. Not young Griffin. You don't want to attack me, really. You just think that you do. All these flowers and not one of them. Because I've already been there, probably. Are you kidding me? Let's change our little approach here. No, wild herbs. I do appreciate my pets helping. I just don't appreciate the fact that I'm extremely dumb and I'm not running in the right direction. And we're back. There we go. 
fruity natures are going to be really, really great, and the... Well, just all the fruits, to be honest with you. The more fruited nature I get, the more elixirs I can make. I have 1,400 elixir of nature, or uh, the fruit of nature, just stand, sitting on standby, waiting. I could have used it for the oil, but I feel like it's a waste. With just how high the cost of crafting the oils are and the low value of what they all can be, uh, nah, I'm going to turn those na the fruit of nature into the elixir make back a little bit of money and level up my alchemy while I'm doing it. Okay, we're halfway there on the blue flowers. See if we can catch up to the violet and the yellow. The only motivation that I have for coming out and manually gathering is always going to be getting the minigame and hopefully getting the, the stupid ginseng. That's my main focus. I mean, how could you not? That's a lot of money to stumble into. Oh, you just happen to get a minigame done and you, you get like six bill? Come on, that's a lottery right there. I completely understand why you get the whole notification, you hit the jackpot. It really does feel like a jackpot. I can attest to that. I think when the the ginseng first came out, it was like, oh, yeah, sure, it's a, a jackpot. Uh -huh. But after getting one, I'm like, god damn, I want one again. I want to strike it big. It's like getting a pen, black star, cap, raw, no cron, 150 fail stack. As soon as you log in, no prepping, nothing. <laughs> like, where's all the flowers at? Where you be, knock or I have workers gathering knock again. Speaking of which, let me check my worker empire make sure they're still working i doubt they are northern wheat plant oh yeah i need another i need a lodging for calpheon most of all my factories are done they don't have any more one more one more one more dried mullet do I want to do mullet? Yeah, I got 10k. We'll get a little trash crate made up. And transport overall status. Hey, we arrived. Which means... Let's go over to Nampo and get that transported in. Cool. Then we can come over to Calpheon because I think Trent should be ready to transport out. Transport overall, yep, cool, great. We got it all sent out. Transportation, trade wagon. Let's check, let's check. 20, yep. Perfect. Full load. There, now we can have that out and going. Bonuses that we get today. Ooh, heart fell. Or heartwarming. That looks nice. Okay, okay. Crons, ooh. Ooh, do we do another attempt? Question is, do I have enough crons to do another attempt? But I might try to go for my hoe, because that's what I'm doing right now. Let's find out. I know it's going to fail and all, but YOLO, why not? They gave it to me for free, right? No? No crons? No crons. Okay. Well. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna just continue running. <clears throat> I thought 
I thought I got crons. Apparently not. No, no, I didn't. Okay, I see, I see. I didn't get the 500 crons. It apparently did not give it to me. But that's fine. That's okay. I'm only going to cry about it later. I mean, I wanted to do another attempt, and I am not buying cron stones. I refuse. Get the fuck out of here. Four mil per cron stone. And you're asking for almost 600. I may not know how to do math because I'm an American, but I know something is just not adding up with that. All right, mini game. What did I just pop? Oh, an energy tonic. Oh, thank God. I did need that, but <laughs> I thought I popped something else. Great. What the fuck did I fuck up on? What did I mess up on? More flowers. Sky blue, 500 sky blue, 1.1k blue, 700 violet, 900 yellow. But the fruit, though, the fruit I'm getting, sickening. I don't think I get that much fruit out there in bear. To be honest with you, I do get a good amount of fruit. I'm not going to lie. I do get a good amount, but... Damn, that just seems a little OP. Without getting any buried traces. I don't know. Might just be me. I might be looking into it a, a little weirdly, but... Oh no, hey OC. After doing almost 30 minutes of our flower gathering, this is how many traces I got. Does that feel like a little bit more than bear? <clears throat> at 1900 mastery it just seems like a lot i've been out there at my 2k 2.2 2.3k gathering mastery and and just i don't know it seems like the flower gathering out here in navarne step is extremely op with the the fruit like not experience wise just just fruit yeah Doing good on the fruit seems better than the herb gathering better, yeah. Like, I, I just might be a little blind. I might be a little biased, but... It just looks like it off the, the top of my head, like, at a glance. One of these days, we might have to compare the two to see just if, like, it's me. You know, I want to hold out hope. Get that little copium that life skilling is a, a little bit better than what it really is. Or if it really is. <laughs> To where flowers never used to drop them in. Exactly. That's why I'm like, wait a minute. That looks weird. That looks weird. And I have not gotten any buried traces. Nothing to increase the, the drop rate on the, the flowers. Or the uh, the fruit. Speaking of which, let's, let's bump it up. Let's bump it up a little. Let's go out and do our gathering with our full 2k mastery. And see if that's going to be better on the, the fruit. After doing it for so long with our our 1700 mastery and so far our first little cycle. Yeah, two fruit of nature. One fruit. I think I might have figured out how to bypass our bottleneck. Okay, we got Trace of Forest. Four fruit. Yeah, I think we might have figured it out. If you guys are wondering how to quickly bypass your fruits and your alchemy, if that's a problem, coming out here to Kama Sylvia is a great way to get all of your fruits. Apparently, just the, the fruit drops alone at, I'll say, 1600 mastery and above is extremely op more so than the actual herb gathering out there in bear to give you guys a demonstration hopefully i can show you i'm getting four fruit 
every so often two to four fruit per flower that i'm gathering so just a heads up you guys need a fruit or you guys are suffering from your bottlenecks coming out here to the Navarne step with all the flowers is a great option especially if you're bored of doing the bare herb gathering just a thought had to get a new little short made up but wow yeah look at this I don't want to drop my inventory because of how much fruit I'm getting. I, I like to relish in the fact that I can start bypassing bottlenecks because we're gathering so God, come on. Like, come on. You're telling me it's not worth coming out here and doing? Yeah, I guess I'm going flower gathering. <laughs> Like, you're telling me you guys don't want to come out here and gather flowers, even though it's not going to make you a lot of money or anything like that. Just because of the fact that, like, the fruits are able to drop in fours, fives, sixes. Everlasting herbs out the wazoo. All right, back to what we're doing. We're getting a little bit too close to those feather wolves, but I can't help it. Look at that. If you're referring to the guild box, no, I'm not a new guild anymore. I left my guild. And usually I can tell you, no, I will probably not get anything from any type of loot box. Unfortunately, I don't have that luck. I think the highest thing that I've gotten out of a loot box was... Um, There was that one time that I got a duo Manos belt. But that's the most I've gotten from any type of box. Ever. I'm liking Navarne. I'm liking it out here, guys. I don't know why I keep sleeping on it out here. Yeah, whatever the, the worst crap is in the box is what I'm going to get. If it's Krons, your boy's getting Krons. If it's a, a sharper hard, I'm getting a sharper hard. I know it. I'm already well aware of it. <laughs> it's weird, though. It's weird. I can get good RNG on other things, and then when it comes to, like, boxes and, and shit like that, like, nah, I have no RNG at all. I can get a 6% enhancement rate on on one thing but then i go and, and open up 20 fucking boxes and i get crons straight crons but i mean i i can't i can't really complain i'm out here i'm getting a good amount of the flowers i'm getting a good amount of the fruits i'm just straight bypassing bottlenecks as we're speaking like in a gross manner, I might add. I'm almost hitting 50 on all of my fruits. We're not even done our flowers yet. We're only 30 minutes in. 33 minutes in, and... I'm just getting fruit on fruit on fruit. Straight fruit. And I'm over here thinking... Farming is going to be the saving grace for our bottlenecks. Nah. I was sorely mistaken. And I was blind, but oh. My eyes are open now. And just in case you guys are not believing me. My inventory is still open. And all of the fruit that I'm getting is just straight here on the window. Just a... Uh, lend credence because i know i don't want anyone sitting there saying that i edited it down and I, I um i'm only showing the whatever moments i don't know what you guys like to comment down below but hey to avoid that we're doing it live we're doing it here and i'm not lowering my inventory to show you guys keep it up here more blue flag. are you still chasing me bro Bro, what are you doing? Thank you. 
Like that hurt. That one legit hurt. Okay, Bly, violet flowers. We need 700 of each flower and we're good to go. That's a good time for the 30 minutes. Really good time, actually. And my energy is, what, 515 out of 598 with 32 seconds on my energy tonic, which I'm, I am going to pop my energy tonic. I, I will pop that. I want that energy and personally... If it'll keep me gathering for a lot longer, like more than an hour here, an hour there, your boy is doing it. So I think we'll... What we'll do is we will head back this way and start working our way from where the trees start over here, the loopy trees or the moss trees, whatever one they are. Travel along the road all the way out here. I think it's uh, up here or up here and then we'll start hitting up the other trees that are out here and that should extend all the way up until i get to right here maybe or right about there either way there should be enough trees for me to, to gather the resources that i need without having to waste too much time i think the most time i'll waste is trying to get from place to place bro leave me alone Only downside of being out here has to be the feather wolves, so keep an eye out. Don't get too close to them, and if you do aggro them, make sure you have enough DP to survive their attacks. They do hit like a Mack truck, and if you're not running around in Tet Manos or your combat gear, it will be a little dice. Oh, sh It will be a little dice, just like with the Belladonna elephants. Like, aggroing them is not the best course of action if you are not running around in your combat gear because look at the health that that hurts sorry we'll put him down we'll put him down we have our infinite potion so it's not really an issue all right cool yeah, just make sure if you get too close to those damn feather wolves not to aggro any of your belladonnas because then you'll have to take down the whole entire group and no one wants to take down a whole entire group when you just want to come out here with a flower basket and pick your damn flowers, you know? No one does. Yeah, you guys right there. You guys are fucking bitches. All of you. I just want my flowers. Oh, let's increase our drop rate yet again. Make sure my mastery is still where it needs to be. Yes, it is. I have not gotten my Stella either. So you can imagine with the Stella, that's a 2.1k mastery that I'll have gathering. That's overkill. That's OP as shit. There is no reason for it. And yet, I have that option. I'll have that ability in two, three, four days, something like that. The login bonus, whatever that is. blue flowers close really close i have not gotten a minigame not at all it's been what 20 minutes since we've gotten one we've gotten two mini games total it's low on my end or it might just because be because i'm doing the flowers they like look we'll give you more fruit but we'll drop the minigame attempt. I want to see how many fruit I can get for the minigames. Like if I can manage to get this to proc again during the minigame or if I can get more. Because if I can get more, that'd be a great thing to clip down and show you guys. Like don't sleep on your fruit gathering. <laughs> don't sleep on it. There are so many fruit that you can get out here takes a little bit of time and like i said the flowers can sell for a decent amount of money if you are just solely trying to gather for your fruit but as always comment down below and let me know if you guys like to flower 
gather out here in a barn step or if you only only do it so often i know a lot of people don't like to head out here unless it's for the actual birds to get your feathers or if you're going for the treasure piece the i think it's the infinite mana potion piece out here but i'm all ears i'm curious i've been sleeping on it way too much and i'm curious if like anyone else has been sleeping on it I can't find any more flowers. I think I ran out to the wrong... Oh yeah, I'm already at the other end. Let's turn back around, head out to the far end. While we do, we're going to gather all of the flowers. And by the time I hit the road, I should have the flowers I need. If not, we'll just chill around and keep gathering. I'm not really worried about it. I'm not concerned. It's all money I'm gathering out here. Even if I'm not going to be listing anything that I actually sell, it's all money I'm making. Sorry, I was answering a message. There we go. What the fuck? <laughs> the bird was a little bit too close. More yellow flowers. That'll put me up to almost 1,500. More fruit on fruit on fruit. Haha. <laughs> way better than farming and I only say that because I don't have to like choose between the different crops to get the different fruits no I'm getting all of them minus the what is it the uh fruit of the sea or whatever fruit of the waves or trace of the waves or whatever I don't fucking know what it is the other one you guys know what I'm talking about right probably not I, I probably don't even fucking know what I'm talking about, to be honest with you guys. I'm just talking to hear myself talk. It's a bad, bad problem of mine. My fiance says I talk too much. I don't believe her, though. Ooh, minigame. Hey, we got this. We can do it. No pressure. Yeah, I say this like we can fail it. I mean, I can possibly fail it, but it'll take me a, a lot to fail that minigame now. Just not even paying attention and just trying to go through each square slowly. <laughs> oh no, we got more wolves. We got more wolves. Uh, I barely talk at all. See, that's what I keep thinking to myself. I'm like, damn, I could talk more. Like, I could really talk more. I feel like I'm not talking enough. Hey, you guys are like really really getting a little bit ahead of yourselves trying to attack me and all the fuck down another mini game let's see if we can't get fruit on this one it'd be great if i could uh we only got one in one but i'm pretty sure that mini game will proc more fruit Yeah, I'm pretty sure it will. If I'm able to gather more fruit manually and not have to worry about it, I'm pretty sure that minigame will increase it. I just have to get the right proc is all. Try to get past all of these without really aggroing anyone. All I'm here for are the flowers. I'm not really here to kill any mobs. I've gotten my treasure. All these fake flowers. A bunch of fake flowers. Unless let's let's do something different. Let's change channels and see if it's just me. That's always a possibility, changing channels and all.
Come on, come on. We got this. We could do it. Don't fail me. Don't fail me now. <laughs> Here we go. All right, let's see if it was just me. Maybe, maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. And it's not looking like it was me. More flowers. I'm gonna low-key be sad when I have to leave from all this flower gathering. Just because of all the fruit I'm getting. Lake Lo Grana is not a bad spot either. Oh yeah, the um Lake Flondor. Like over here is not bad. Um there's some over here in Lake Flondor. There's also I want to say there's some also over in the Tooth Fairy Cabin, too. But by far, I have to say the best place is over here in the Bar Step. Like, even though Land of the Morning Light has a lot of your flowers that you can gather, it's just... I don't know. Navarn. Navarn is like bear for the flowers. <laughs> the Pilgrim Haven of Flower Gathering. <laughs> God damn. All that fruit. That's what I want. Blue flowers, we need 400. Oh, and we got a buried trace. Okay. We got two of them. So if you get lucky, you can get a buried trace. If you get a buried trace, that is extra extra little fruit out here that's one and that's two so we've taken a short little session of maybe maybe 100 mil total and we've extended it by a lot just for the sharps hearts the black gem fragments hell even the fruits that we've gotten just by coming out here to commissary and gathering it's it's great it's great i definitely suggest don't sleep on it Lake Flondor has a great spot. The Lake Below Grana is not a bad spot either. And Land of the Morning Light is a, another spot that you guys can head out and get. But if Iron Step is a pilgrim haven of flower gathering. I think it's safe to go now. I think it might be safe to go. We've gotten enough yellow flowers. We can do all of our, our thing. I don't know. You guys are going to have to be the judge of me. I might be biased on it. I might be a little blind or whatever, but for the almost an hour of gathering our flowers out here in Kama Sylvia, this is, the, this is the fruits that we've gotten. All of the fruits with the two buried traces. So you're going to have to tell me if it's better to go out and gather and bear for your fruits or if the flowers out here in Comasilvia are going to be the better spot to, to do. But for me, it's looking like the flower gathering is a lot better than bear. And no, we're not talking about experience. We're not talking about money to be made or anything. Just the fruits for alchemy. Yeah, see? Just for the fruit for alchemy, it is a great spot to come out to. And I told you the mini game would proc more fruit, a lot more fruit than what I was normally getting. That's why farming is going to have to take a step down for getting your fruits. Uh, it's an unpopular opinion. I know you guys are going to hate me for it, but argue with me. <laughs> Argue with me. <laughs> Tell me you guys can get more herb or more of the fruits for alchemy out there in bear. And then go out and do some flower gathering. The scenery is better though. <laughs> the scenery is better. <laughs> There's less danger too. <laughs> but for what it's worth, I'm gonna extend this to an hour and we'll check again to see how much. 
No, this has... This hasn't been an hour yet. We are only at 50 minutes and... 7 seconds. The exact time. And I've gotten almost 100 of my fruit. Yeah, that's uh, the only danger out here for it, but... Come on. I'll take it. You can easily avoid any of the feather wolves and or base tank the shit so you don't have to die. If you have your mini games or your UI set up to not close out when uh, you get damaged, you're set. I can't remember where it was. There we are. And just continue gathering our fruit. Originally, I came out here just for the flower, but these fruits for alchemy, I, I can't pass it up right now. That's uh, so why I'm going to extend this out to a full hour and show you guys how much we can make for it. And just don't do what I'm doing and take all these wolves and face tank them. And don't put yourself in the position. Don't die. More fruit. It's fucking disgusting on the amount of fruit we can gather. Uh, I think I've been left skilling wrong this whole entire time. Silly me. I've been over here doing pre-orders for my, my fruits and, and things to help out with my alchemy when I should have just came out here, sucked it up for an hour or two, and gathered. But I'm not gonna lie, doing a pre-order is a lot faster. But if you guys like gathering, you guys want to level up your gathering and or want to use the rare drops for gathering, <laughs> Kamasil. Best place. OP. Completely. So I'm like, I don't want to minimize my my inventory because there is a lot of the fruit we're watching to stock up. We got eight minutes left and we will find out or well, I'll show you guys the end result. Not find out. It's like we can just look at the inventory panel, but oh, it's there. Sky blue. I don't want yellow. I already have enough yellow. That'll put me up to four, maybe 5k yellow flowers that I have sitting at home right now. But sky blue, I'll take. Oh, no, nope, we're done on sky blue. Okay. Let's look for our violet. Oh, the fairy's breath isn't bad either. We need blue. Oh no. Oh no, we have no more. Okay, there we go. Violet flowers we can do more of. Blue flowers we can do a little bit more of. Not not that much. Figures, we got wolves galore. On the flowers I need to gather. Face tank them. It's cool. The last little bit of blue flowers. Yep, last little bit. Now we can move on to the violet only. Oh, shit. You think they want me dead? I think so. Sorry, guys. I gotta run. Gotta dash. Sky blue, sky blue, pilot. I'm just trying to go for every color that I can out here because might as well I have the time.
sky blue and I don't want to attract the attention of that guy over there. Hell yeah, thank you for the sub. You are fucking amazing, Pratt. Now let's see why my alert sounds are not alert sounding. <laughs> my notification sounds and all that. Alright, let's see. Turn that on, turn that on. Okay, okay. Yep, yep. Let's do my alert box. Let's try that again. Let's see if I can't get that. There we go. Now it's playing. Cool. Now I should know when you guys are, are subbing and all that good stuffy stuff. Oh, and if you guys were wondering about the sub goal over on YouTube, this is for Twitch. Unfortunately, we don't have any type of plugin for YouTube for that whole little thing, so keep that in mind. If you guys are subbing over to me on YouTube, which, by the way, is subbed to me over on YouTube and on, on Twitch, so yeah, that you guys know when I go live again. But if you guys were wondering why it was not adding up to the actual goal and all that, that's why. It's not you. It's Twitch. More violet flowers. After we get done our violet flower gathering, I'm gonna use a bathroom real quick, and then we will go start gathering our trees and shit like that. The sap, the dead tree essence, and finally end off with our trace of darkness, which I can easily gather from our alchemy byproducts, which I I have almost 3k. I'm just storing it up. It's a lot easier if you're making the pure powder reagents, you're making your clear liquid reagent, you're not having to really study on any of your bottleneck resources. And just spam it. <laughs> spam it throughout the night, AFK, well, semi-AFK. Yep, we just need a little bit more violet, and we are done on that. And we have three more minutes. And we can hop over to the next resource. Hopefully we can spend maybe 30 minutes on the sap, then 30 minutes on the other one. I'm going to be saving my heartwarming spring draft that we got for the event. It's a huge bonus that I don't feel like is worth hopping just yet. I mean, look at that. Gathering speed plus 3, life XP plus 20, movement speed plus 3, weight limit plus 100 pounds, you got processing processing success rate plus 20%, auto fishing plus 10%, and gathering resource gain plus 8%, only 15 minutes. And that's the only thing. Which we can... No, there's no way we can we can get more, never mind. I was about to say, there, there is a way we can get more. No, I, I was reading on how we make it. But I'm not going to pop that. I'm only going to use that when I really, really want to get through maybe like a Pilgrim's Haven session. I think Pilgrim's Haven would be, a, would be a great place to pop it or bear. Oh, bear, yeah. But the flowers, I don't feel like it's really worth it. Pop that, pop that, and there. We're now at 571 out of 598 energy. Let's keep it going. Keep it going. We got one more minute left. Or, nope. We're done. We're going to call it at that. We're not even going to sit there and gather for that last minute. So, there. For an hour of flower gathering out here in Kamasil for the Spirit Perfume Elixir ingredients, we have gotten... 2k of every flower just to give you guys a baseline of how many fruits you can get but with all of that we are pushing 50 and above on all of our fruits you guys let me know if that's better than bear gathering i'm not sure this is not talking about experience or anything just the fruit sphere alchemy but to me that seems like it's a huge huge step up from going out and gathering the the bear herbs and hoping for your your alchemy fruit. I mean, it's not off the table. It's still an option. Well, considering the flowers can be sold for 32k each, you know, it's not just like the herbs that we can gather out there and bear. Like, we can still sell the flowers, so there is a little bit of profit there. 
but like I said, if you are solely going for the spirit perfume elixir or the fruits, I I feel like the fruits alone, just the, the fruits are better than going to bear for the, the fruit. That's all. Nothing else. No money, no no type of like experience, just the alchemy fruit. I don't want to confuse anyone and, and say like you can make billions and blah blah blah. Like it's a great way to bypass those little bottlenecks if you are waiting for your pre-orders. That's all. That is about it, okay? If you are waiting for your farm, you're waiting for your pre-order, don't sleep on the flower gathering out here in Kama Sylvia. I feel like it'd be a waste of your time. It's a great supplement. That's all. All right, let me use the bathroom and we will go get set up. Three tapped, a plus five, cooks close at 150 stack. Well, yeah, they say that you should have the 160 stack minimum for a plus five. Yeah, there's not many people here, which makes for a great alternative, like you said. And again, the flowers can be sold for a little bit of extra profit. It's not going to be a lot of money, but for each stack of the 2k flowers that I've gotten, that's 50 mil each. Yeah, these are all 50 mil each. So that's 100, 200 mil in the flowers alone. You know, and then you can just go ahead and do a little summary of what you think the fruits will make. We got the fruits. We got the Kafras. We got our sharps, hards, our black gem fragments. Again, it's not going to be like the replacement for having to use your your farms, your your worker sacks and all that. It's just a great alternative, a great way to supplement all of that waiting around for your pre-orders and, you know, your your farms to get done growing the the crop or whatever. I mean, what would you guys prefer? Would you guys rather wait maybe a, a week or two for the pre-order to go through or I I exaggerate you know, a couple days for the pre-order to go through, or would you guys rather be able to go out and gather for a little bit here or there until you get the exact amount that you need? I mean, it's not going to be a stack of 1k right there, but it's still some way of getting what you need. Like, I can't pass it up. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right, let's see. Moss, tree sap. Oh, sh oh, shit. Oh, shit. Let's not. Wow. Okay. These are fucked up. Is it, let me try the, the chopping. I really feel like I should be chopping the moss tree to get the dead tree essence. I could be wrong. Let's find out. Let's see. Let's try it out. Because I just don't feel like this is... This is right. Really don't feel like it's right. Get away from me, snake! Alright, I should be getting up to use the bathroom, but I'm trying to test this shit out. I don't know why. Maple. Why is there maple here? What the fuck? Okay, give me a second, guys. I will be right back, and then we will start gathering. Hopefully a snake doesn't come out of the fucking bushes and kill me. Or him. Nah, you'll be fine. I'll be right back, everyone.
Sorry about that. I am back. What's up? Tian, how you doing? We're out here getting the resources together for our spirit perfume. We just did an hour of our flower gathering out in Kama, which, by the way, I have gotten a huge, huge supply of our fruit just gathering our flowers. Not sure if it's better than bear. If you have any, any idea, let me know. It'd be great. But right now, we're going to do our moss tree, uh, I think, chopping. Again, I don't know whether or not it's going to be the sapping or the chopping that's going to do me better with getting the dead tree essence. But we're getting the dead tree essence together now. Oh, hell yeah. I figure we're going to keep up on our alchemy. What better way than to come out, gather for the resources needed, and then turn them into the actual elixirs to make some money without losing too much of it? All right, let's try chopping. I feel like chopping is a better better way to get the dead tree essence. Like, what do you guys feel like is a better better way to get the dead tree essence? Either moss tree sapping or moss tree chopping, because I'm not getting anything. Nothing at all, I'll tell you that. Damn. All right, I think I'm going to try to sap the next one. I know I'm in the wrong spot for doing it, but... We're going to do it anyway. I'm stuck. There. <laughs> going to alternate, see which one's better. Because we were asked which one's better. Loopy tree sapping or moss tree sapping? Yes, you can also get them from the mushrooms too. Over in Polyforest. All right, let's go back on our auto path. Let's get over here, actually. Yeah, I just don't feel like the dead tree essence from the mushrooms are a really viable way of getting what I need or the amount that I need, specifically the amount that I need. But what's up, Dark? How you doing today? Hope you're enjoying your day in Black Desert. Have you gotten any good life skilling goals met? Any good enhancing mob grinding? Anything like that? Yeah, we're testing it out, though. I just know off the top of my head, Garmi is the best place to gather all of your dead tree essence. But I'm out here in Kama. You know, we might as well hit up the old classic rotation and try our luck. Just don't want to waste too much time trying to get it. Come on, trees, where are you? Hmm. I'm running in the completely opposite fucking direction. Let's just cut through here and make my own path. So glad I don't have to fucking farm these guys anymore. So glad. We're just making our way through here. Don't mind me. I just don't feel like the moss trees are giving me anything. Well, I mean, they're not. But is it going to be the moss trees or the loopy trees? Let's find out. Oh. Full try accessories and full head armor tools, life skill. Now you're kind of sad with the life skilling at the moment. It feels like the investment we make isn't worth what we get in return. Which your your mastery is sitting at. And yeah, I feel the same way. I feel like mastery is extremely underwhelming. 
like once you've gotten up to your your tet and try manos mastery is extremely fucking underwhelming on how are there no trees to gather there's one gatherable no oh wait wait yeah it is got one essence out of all those trees so far we've gotten one okay so i don't think moss trees are going to be the saving grace for this but we'll make our way all the way to the loopy trees Pretty sure moss sap is used for something, right? Pine tree, pine tree, pine tree. Don't care. We're just hitting up all the moss trees all the way up to the ash bar so we can hit up all the dry pine. Yeah, it's 2k master with Stella, Lauren, and some other buffs. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like having the the higher mastery, and after putting all of that silver, the time, the enhancing, whatever you did to get your mana, it's like it's not worth it. It's really not worth it, in my opinion. That's why I always tell everyone: once you get your Tet manos, you are your set. That's your end game gear right there. You don't even have to go for your pen. Which is unfortunate. There's other ones. There's other ones. Like, if you do the horse breeding, I find that the higher mastery is worth it. Um... Um... Uh, uh, processing? There... Maybe? <laughs> but yeah not even with fishing i feel like fishing doesn't even give us the the return on what we do for the the mastery there you go dry pine let's start getting the dead tree essence that we really deserve i do i like to breed horses every every so often i have to get back into it because i have a whole project that i should be doing i kind of got sidetracked with all of the events that are ongoing and shit like that but yeah no the mastery does help for certain ones it's just if you only have 75 percent of your life skills that are really being i guess uh rewarded for the mastery it sucks for everything else you don't feel inclined to go out and get your your cook gear your alchemy gear blah 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 like it's just so underwhelming like will i still do it yeah of course i want to have the bragging rights to be able to say i have all of my gear and all but it's just there's no real incentive to go for it Come on, moss trees. Help me help you. Hunting though, you make 1.5 bill. I don't even have the 2k. And you can make a serious amount of money. So that one I don't even feel like it's even worth investing in. Because again, you get more comeback than... Than what you invest into it, you know? It's like a gathering. I'm not sure why that person just vanished. A little weird. I just need 500 more. That's all I'm looking for. It's not going to take me long to ride out to Dragon. Get into Darmy or the Nightcrawl post or Nightcrow post, but 
I'm here in comma. <laughs> I do need a loopy though. That's the only reason why I'm still out here. Yep, only 500 and I can start with my spirit perfumes. I have 500 and change over in Olvia already. So it's just getting a little odds and ends here or there. The flowers, I really didn't need a flower. I already had the 2k flowers. I just wanted to get more of a supply so I wasn't just using a, a whole complete stack. And then it turned into, holy shit, there's a lot of fruit. To, wow, I don't want to leave here because there's a lot of fruit. I'm just not getting lucky. Yeah, I'm not getting lucky out here. We're going to have to try Loopy. So there, after being asked which tree is worth the fluid collecting for the dead tree essence, I think it's safe to say that the moss tree is not going to be the tree that you're going to be sapping for any of your dead tree. We will try out the loopy to show you an example, but so far out of all of the trees that we have gathered, I have gotten one dead tree essence. Damn, still nothing. Okay, yeah. We're going to change this up a bit and head out to the ash forest. Hey, I was asked. I was asked. I have to do, right? I have to waste my time so that you guys will not have to. And that's the idea. That's why I was heading out to Loopy. I just wanted to try out Moss and see if I could get anything from Moss while I was out there. What's up, Baron? How you doing? Hope you're enjoying your weekend in Black Desert. Exactly, it was worth a shot. Exactly. But hey, at least you guys can watch me do it so that you guys won't have to. Enough to make 500 of these. I'm going for a thousand. I'm going for a thousand of the Spirit Elixir. Right, let's double check. Make sure. Nope, those are still monsters. I'm gonna laugh if I get more from chopping. No, I'm I'm just like hoping for the best and <laughs> getting the worst. Yeah, it's no problem. I do what I can to help you guys out. It may not be right all the time, but at least I am trying to help out. Uh the dead tree essence or the spirit elixir? Which one has been off the market for two or three weeks now? And I can imagine what are you referring to the dead tree? Oh. Oh. Damn. <laughs> okay, yeah, so we're gonna we're pushing for three hundred and twenty-four of the that. 324 mil. And the Spirit Elixir, let's find out. Let's find out when the last time that was in, or if we can tell. No, it's on the market. No, it's still on the market. Dead Tree Essence, though, isn't, which is kind of a little shocker, considering we can get it from all of our alchemy, you know? So, for there not to have, for us, NA, not to have any sock. Okay, okay, get it. Get it, I might be able to make more money off of our Dead Tree than originally. Oh, we back. Sold 1k of the elixir two days ago. Sold within 10 minutes. All right. I got some hope. 
Now, how far was it before I start encountering the dead tree? I'm still chopping down random moss trees, hoping that I will get a fucking dead tree essence. Go, go, go. Like, I'm still going. And now that we're here in the area, let's start getting what we need. Hey, kid, what's up? Welcome back. How you doing? Any good life skilling goals met? Any good enhancing mob grinding? Anything of the such? I'm all ears. And got our dry moss tree. We're going to try to get the most from them. Five hundred. That's all we're looking for. Anything else is extra. Oh, oh. Let's let's go back to the loopy. I I need loopy. I may have went a little bit too far out. Finally got your last from Laura's accessory. Hell yeah! You got your season tokens. That's what you were missing, right? Mini game, mini game, mini game. Give me dry pine, or give me the the actual dead tree. Oh no, that cedar sap is looking mighty fine. Even though I have already gotten some yesterday. Congrats! You don't want to be you want to be mean, but you still watch your game. It looks like 480p instead of 1080p. Yeah, I'm not sure what to tell you because I'm not only am I streaming at 1080p, but my stream output, the um, the resolution is also stretched to 180p or 1080p to go ahead and compensate for the fact that Twitch won't let me. Here we go. Some dead tree essence. Got some, not a lot. Yeah, I tried to make sure that it was gonna be the the 1080p. <laughs> just because you know twitch does not allow you to to do it unless you're a partner unless you cheat oh yeah thank you for the follow you are fucking amazing zenny you have a question you're at the season and you leveled your gathering to master one and you're making 800 mil per hour just by selling match should you graduate from now on i mean that's up to you you should if it works out best for you to stay on the season stay on the season like i'm not gonna sit there and tell you like how to play your game and all it's just also remember that you can make more when you are wearing your mastery clothes and your mastery clothes are only available on the general populated servers you don't have that option for the season so take that and keep that in mind oh yeah i'm uh i'm a little bit too far out that's why i'm i'm a little confused uh hell yeah Zenny. thank you thank you i appreciate it man i try to be as helpful as i can it may not always be right but at least i try and can you sail slash sea monster hunt with friends of course you can of course I, I used to sit there on other people's boats and do sailies let me let my dog up on the bed and get back into this All right, so you've been thinking about swapping from grinding to life skilling. You've been buying gear over time. All the life skills you do, you got try menace and try accessories. Would you recommend for optimal profit? Um, optimal profit. It all depends on what you like to do. Like I suggest heading out to Pilgrim's Haven and Ooh, I'm a little bit too close to them, but I suggest going to Pilgrim's Haven to do your mining. Hold on, these guys are... I feel like these guys are gonna whoop my ass if I don't switch. Oh shit. They just one-shot me. Oh god. Oh sweet baby Jesus. That's why. That's exactly why. I was like, hold on, let me switch off into my gear because I feel like I'm about to get my ass whooped and sure enough. The 
the joys of Ash Forest. Oh, I know they hit hard. I just wasn't expecting to be one shot. I was expecting to at least survive a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer than what I did. And uh, they were like, yo, fuck your gear. Yeah, you only get three per year. Save that again. <laughs> like, there's hitting hard, and then there's hitting hard. <laughs> Those fuckers hit hard. <laughs> like, really, really hard. Like, oh my god. And I over here thought I was gonna do Ash Forest at one point in my life. Fuck that. Nah. <laughs> I got PTSD now. Ooh, shit. I was supposed to be sap collecting. Oh, I, I, like, legit got PTSD from that. Is it a significant profit loss to mine ore at Haven if only art can? It... I mean, no. Going out and gathering is not a loss in general. Unless you're doing, like, the Valencia herb gathering. That, that's a complete fucking waste of your time, effort, and moral. But no, seriously, like, gathering is not a, a waste of, or a, a cut in any type of profit. You have to remember, you're getting rare drops, no matter what you're gathering. You're not going to be able to get those rare drops from pre-ordering anything off the central market. I mean, if you guys can show me a way to pre-order 500 of your fruit, and get a bonus of your sharps, your hards, your Kafra stones, and or if you happen to get lucky and get your millennial ginseng for your six bill. Uh, like, going out manually gathering, though it takes time, and it you need a little bit more gear than just running out if you're trying to get anything in return. But, I mean, come on. You're gaining money regardless. Like, even though I'm failing at my loopy tree sap gathering, still, I'm getting, I'm still getting money for the sap that I'm gathering. See, 6k, 6.1k, it's not going to be, like, mob grinding, but I'm still getting the resources I can use to sell 14 point, or 14k for the logs if I was still chopping it. Uh, the timber's not really worth much anything, but still, you get the idea. Uh, I've been between sniper hunting versus matchlock hunting, but plan to use all the stuff you cook anyway, so ideally you like hunting into cooking. Yeah, I do gathering into alchemy, into cooking, into processing, into trade crates, but it's never just solely I'm taking one, like just uh, selling the materials raw. I mean, I can, I, I just... I have more fun in doing all of the other life skills. I feel like someone's out here already. The only problem with gathering is energy in increasing is such a chore worse than journals. Yeah, that energy recovery can be a, a bitch, but if you come out with a lot of your tonics, you save up your event items, it's not that bad. I've been gathering for an hour and 30 minutes so far. The fucking hitboxes. Yeah, the, the hitboxes are not that ideal. And I know mouse to move is a great thing, but it's still weird. Yeah, it's really weird for these trees. It's really weird for the elk out there in bear. Some of the materials like pilgrims works great, but out here, nah. Rare drops too thin on season, I can say, because of the magic tools. Yeah, your mastery is going to be your biggest telling factor with your season versus the general populated servers with your life skilling. I don't care about mob grinding. I don't care about the money that you can make for all of that dumb shit. I'm just solely talking about life skilling and season. It has its ups. It has its pros. But for the rare drops, you're not going to be doing the season. Nice. Comfy. If there's no puddles around, I'm pretty comfy on my shy. 
<laughs> if there's no no puddles and there's no like big rocks that I can get stuck on. Our loopy tree sap, we already have enough of it. So I think I might have to ride out to to Garmy's lair and do the dry pine out there. Only other issue for me with life skilling is you care too much. Yeah, you cannot you cannot look at life skilling like you look at mob grinding. A lot of times when we are trying to trying to compare the two, we we get blind. We get blind on looking at what does better. The mob grinding, what part of mob grinding and the current activity and I hate to break it to you, but life skilling is like a, a hobby. It sometimes can make you money, but a lot of times you're just solely doing it for fun. And a lot of life skilling aspects are mainly only for fun because it doesn't make you as much money as mob grinding. Mob grinding will make you a, a bill to two bill at the minimum at a moment's notice, but you have to put in a lot of work and a lot of time into your life skills, just like with a hobby. You're not going to start out drawing like a savant if you have no type of skill in drawing or any type of creativity, nothing. You have to put some time, you have to put some effort into it. You know, it's just like with life skilling. So, like I said, a lot of times we often get blind and put on that tunnel vision when we're looking at, or when we're comparing the life skilling and mob grinding, and it's, it's stupid. Like, if you want to make the money, mob grind. Mob grind all day. Don't get rid of your life skilling gear. Don't get rid of your mob grinding gear. Keep them both. Do one when you get bored of the other, but we just can't compare the two. It's not fair. It's not fair to to compare the two because I can do two build, three build passively where mob grinding can't, but mob grinding can grind the three build where you can't gather that three build. And I'm not talking about the millennial ginseng because if you want to get technical, you can gather and get your six build in a couple seconds if you were very 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 lucky okay but yeah we get a we get highly tunnel visioned when it comes to mob grinding versus life scaling i enjoy them both i mean uh, i don't really enjoy them both i don't enjoy mob grinding but you know i do them both i could be wrong like let me let me know how you guys feel <laughs> you know how that shit goes I'm, I always want to hear about you guys' opinion on things. My opinion on sniper hunting versus matchlock, shadow wolves, or lion. Your sniper hunting will make you a lot more money than the shadow lion or wolves. You're mainly relying on RNG when it comes to the shadow lions. But when it comes to sniper hunting, you can make a lot of money. Out the gate. I was making a lot of money with my sniper hunting before... I even um, upgraded my sniper hunter, my sniper rifle, my gear, my crystal preset. Sniper hunting is OP. <laughs> Straight OP. Like day one. Yeah, you're mainly going for the heads. The heads are is where you're going to make a lot of your money at, but the drop rate is extremely low. Uh, I wouldn't really call anything a bug as more of an exploit. And no, there's a different exploit for... I'm not going to go into it because I don't condone cheating and I don't really... I don't like it. I don't stand for it. Yeah, there there's an exploit that will get you banned for your sniper hunting, for switching off things and doing this or doing that and shit like that. Yeah, there is. I don't know if it's still active, but when uh, sniper hunting first came out, that's what people were doing, and I shit you not, the sniper hunting area, it reminded me of D-Day. The, the fucking beaches of Normandy, watching three or four sniper hunters just take down five or six sniper hunting monsters at a time, each of them. You know, you change channels, oh, there goes a whole group dropping dead. Okay, let me change channels. Oh, nope. 
you can't do that because again there's five or six people doing that like they flooded the market they killed the the sniper hunting market day one like once the exploit was found i don't like that i'm not all about that like cool do it on your own time you know on a solo game but out here it's just it's not fun for the normal player yeah try out sniper hunting definitely try it out it's fun it's great it's op <laughs> if you have the gear and you have the patience to learn and you don't die like that yeah go out and do the, your, your sniper hunting if you're trying to get to guru hunting matchlock hunt the grass rhinos Oh, we got Garmy active on the field, ladies and gents. We got Garmy. You know what that means. Let's go Garmy hunt. Yeah, no. Do your matchlock hunting. Do the grass rhinos. The grass rhinos are the fastest way to power level your hunting. You're at M22? Yo, dude, a day. Just one day will take you to, to Artie, or not Artie, uh, to Guru. Just straight grass rhinos, and then you can use the materials that you get to, to go ahead and do any tapping and shit like that. Oh, sh I spawned at the wrong possible time. You need the meat for turn-ins anyway. Dude, the meat in general is great. You take the grass rhino meat that you get out there, turn it into Beote County gut baps. You can turn it into the Balanos meals. The I'm pretty sure you can use that meat for the Valencia meal too. Or you can use it for, say, I don't know, just anything else. You can use the hide for horse gear or turning into Supremes and selling off that way. I mean, it's not going to be a huge come up, but it's a way to get rid of the material. The trophies you can turn into a huge profit. Use yourself for mob grinding. Or just have for the, the aesthetics. Like, it, it's up to you. But personally, like, there is no downside with hunting. Sniper hunting, matchlock hunting, hunting in general, unless you're trying to do the elk hunting out there in... Uh, Balanos. That's the only one I will suggest not to do because it's a fucking waste of your time. I'm hoping I get a Garmy heart. Easy 20 bill in my pocket. Easy 20 bill. I'm on the verge of <laughs> quitting mob grinding. Dude, that's what I said. Get your life skill gear. Save up, invest for it, get all of that dumb shit done, and when you get burned out, switch off. Your next upgrade slash moving on spots is like 100 to 150 bill. Wait, what do you mean by that? Yeah, I can tell you my settings are... Oh, let me just show you now. Performance setting, I have high, high-end, I have, or, yeah, the high-end graphics I have, remaster, TAA, I have every, well, I normally have everything set up, my optimization, I don't have auto frame, I don't have really much of the settings that are going to make your game look bad, and then for the display, I have the display quality, no, uh, effects. The effects, I'm using br Vibrant, and here's all of the, the settings there. I like eye candy. Like, I personally, I just like eye candy. If I'm going to play a game, I might as well have it look good. Not have it run as fast as I can to mob grind, you know, shit like that. Oh, let's accept that quest, because we need that too. And let's find out. I've already gotten one of the Garmoth's Bloodstone. I need another one. I need nine more. 
like 305 brackets so either you need a tet debo or pen black stars just like expensive shit okay so the things that you have to really really invest into and or get extremely lucky okay oh just trash always trash nothing from garmin no see no but come on you guys know better you guys know me me get lucky on anything come on cronmoth more like it kid yep cronmoth indeed yeah it's no problem baron i appreciate you coming in and asking you want a whale hunt though oh whale hunting you're gonna have to get into a whale hunting discord Try to try to Google it and see if you can find one. Hey OC, how you doing, man? I couldn't see your name there for a second. I'm like, who the fuck is crouching here like they know me? I mean you do know me. <laughs> like, that's weird. You're not an NPC. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, you have to get into a Discord for the whale hunting because it's a group activity. You have to get into a, a group and normally the Discords are putting groups like that together. You can't do it solo. I've tried to. Nothing, nothing. Yeah, no, the only thing that, like, really made me realize that it wasn't an actual NPC like the poachers was because of you're wearing a dress. You're a lawn, right? You look like a lawn wearing a dress, crouching. I'm like, that's not an NPC. When was the last time I've ever seen a lawn crouching in the fucking bushes like a fucking creeper out here in Kama? <laughs> you had to take a chance. <laughs> guess what the channel? <laughs> you guessed right. Oh, even though we are not in the guild, I'm still sticking to the channels because, you know, the channels I knew. It's what I've become comfortable with. All right, birch trees. Do you get okay experience during sniper hunting? Yeah, I... Fun fact, I leveled up my guru from guru 5 all the way up to 28 solely on sniper hunting no it doesn't matter with the whole four shots four shots only count for your match lock yeah i leveled up from guru 5 all the way up to guru 28 on sniper hunting i don't really like to do my match lock hunting anymore once they introduced sniper hunting it was like a whole new world and i was out there ever since Though I will say grass rhinos are faster. Grass rhinos will always be faster. Yeah, sniper hunting is broken as fuck. Intentional, unintentional, fixed, not fixed. Either way, the shit is broken. Shit's broken like a, a fucking mirror being thrown out a window. D28, no, I think I'm only in G5 as of last night. Yeah, no, when it came to sniper hunting, I just ran with it. That shit was fun. I got burned out on it, obviously, going straight Guru 5 to 28. But it was fun. I did it. All right, so the loopy tree sapping is not going to get me much of anything. And there's not a lot of trees over there to get the dead tree essence. So... Our next plan... Um, sorry? Is there a tree there? Okay. Our next plan is to head out to Garmoth's lair to get our... Um, dry moss. Or dry pine, whatever it is over there. Because I'm failing miserably and I need 500. That's all I need to do. And I hopefully want to get it before 30 minutes. That way I can get on to our actual alchemy and, you know, call it a session. Just like that. Trying to get back into it mostly for upgrade mats. 
yeah, that's all. That's the only reason why I was out there sniper hunting the upgrade mats. If I guess the match all hunting out in the brass rhinos gave me more of the concentrated, I would do that. But sniper hunting was the best way to get your concentrated. The black gems was great. The fragments was great, but concentrate hands down. Wait, I just bought the Marnie sniper rifle off the market. Yes, that's your best in slot. Get that up to plus 10 and you're, you're golden. Uh, not really. You didn't save yourself a lot of effort. You saved yourself some effort, regardless. Yeah, you did save yourself some time, some time and effort. But you could have easily made it up. If you had your Dokubi workers out there in Land of the Morning Light, you you could easily get the materials together. I mean, there's nothing nothing wrong with buying it. Don't think like I'm shaming you or bashing you for going out and, and buying it, okay? Like, buying it is the quickest way to, to get anything, right? So, don't think I'm, I'm trying to shame you for it or whatever. I think we're going to take the teleport and save us the time and effort. Okay, so we've gotten 4k of the loopy tree sap, which is going to play nicely out for the spirit perfume. I already have 9.5k, 9. 9. I think it is. That rifle can Peta to tap, no, yeah, to tap up plus 10. Yeah, exactly. That's why I said. But you could do dailies for it. It wasn't a lot of, a lot of effort into getting your, your sniper rifle, but you did save yourself some effort okay it's the quickest way to do anything i'll always tell you to do that but yeah you could do your dailies for it you know they they gave a, a great amount for the logins and events and shit like that see i got 51 so far just stocked up waiting And I'm pretty sure... Do I have any more in here? Yeah, I got three more in here, too. So, yeah, they give you a lot. Now, so I'm like, you... You did your yourself maybe a month on the... The effort needed. Hey, what's up, Law? And what's up, Hacken? I, I do apologize for not shouting you out, bro. Okay, okay. Okay, so you're quitting or you're you quit quitting and you're you're back again. Uh, the Godry enhancing material, purple giant from the giants. Oh, you're talking about You're talking about these bad boys right here. The scorching sun gemstones, yeah. That's what I've been slowly getting together. I've been needing the mass of pure magics. That's what I've been getting stocked up on, so I can just force tap my, my fucking plus 10. I think I have enough, finally. Uh, I think I have enough for that. Check real fast. One hundred and twenty. Yeah, your boy's ready. I can do it, no problem. Mass magic, sharps, hards, one and one. Yeah. That's if I really wanted to. You'd imagine those belts would go for a little bit more on the central market. Just a tad bit more. Everything's selling. We just making back our money now. I tried my luck at more plus four taps for my alchemist clothes, and I failed, so I have to make back the money. You bought enough for your plus nine on your sniper. You farm the rest from Sunnels and Ilvia. Yo, I originally, when I started making my flow rang, I was doing the, <laughs> the Sunnels over there in the Ilvia realm. I could barely do it. I was able to, to pull maybe one to three of the the sunnels out there 
That was before I had any of the gear that I have now, so I wasn't able to do it. Now, now I can. Now it's no problem. Like, if I really wanted to. All this hunting talk, and now you're tempted to give it a try? Bro, do it. You got to, kid. Uh, you really, really have to, at least once in your life, just to see what is the, the, the talk about. You know, what's the rumors? You'll never look back. I'll tell you that. You'll never look back. Like, I used to bash my hunting. I used to bash it because my gathering had a lot more mastery than my hunting. But once your hunting mastery starts to, to take off, bro, you get more materials than what you do for gathering. You don't use that much energy for, for hunting, kid. By the way, okay. <clears throat> so, fun fact, if you guys are trying to power level your gathering... You're trying to still level your hunting or you're trying to make money while while gathering hunting matchlock hunting the grass rhinos can power level your hunting your sniper hunting can power level your hunting and while you're doing your hunting and your sniper hunting you don't use as much energy as you do with your gathering so if you think about it if you're going out with a huge pool of energy you can power level your hunting and your gathering and maybe use probably 300 energy. You can keep your villa buff on. You can pop your energy tonics. Whatever you want. And still power level your gathering as quickly as you can. With just say your gathering. It's not going to be as quick as bear gathering or pilgrim's haven. But don't throw it off the table. You can make your 1.5 billion for your sniper hunting. And power level your gathering at the same time. I just wanted to give you guys that little information there. Uh, you, for sniper hunting, you will maybe use possibly maybe one or two energy within like three or four gathers. It's that fucking broken. It might be intentional. It might not be intentional. But yo, if you throw on your experience crystals and you jack up your experience like that, bro, you could power level it. No, no problem. What's the difference between sniper hunting and matchlock hunting? the areas one the areas that you can hunt two the animals that you can hunt three the drops between the matchlock hunting and the sniper hunting are different you get the vital crystal the uh, forest crystal for making your vital and your life crystal from your sniper hunting you know uh, the uh crystal of bitterness the despair all of that from sniper hunting where you get your Breath of Narcion, your Breath of Omoa from Matchlock Hunting. You can get 75% of your trophies from the Matchlock Hunting, where you can get a little bit of trophies from the Sniper Hunting. There's little key differences, but the differences can be huge. Like with your Matchlock Hunting, you'll focus more on your combat stats. So let's take my Crystal Preset here, for example. If you look at it, I have mainly combat settings, like my combat stats, because it'll play more into your matchlock hunting. Whereas your sniper hunting, your sniper hunting is a... You're going to want to set up for your mastery. Mastery will help out a lot with your sniper hunting and the attack speed for the reload. That's all. You know, your mastery and your sniper rifle for your sniper hunting. I mean, your gear too, but... It's not like with your matchlock hunting. So the there's differences. If you can get past them and you can figure it out, they're pretty much easy. And get good at the reload minigame. Yeah, get load at your reload minigame. Okay, so we're going to go for the Nightcrawl post because I know there's the dry pine along the way. Yeah, I'll always tell everyone the main part of sniper hunting is... Where you shoot, how good you are with reloading, and your mastery. You know, you can have the best mastery, but if you're shooting like shit, it means nothing. You can have the best mastery, but if you're reloading is absolutely atrocious, that means nothing. Whereas you can have no mastery, and you could be getting those shots one after another, and getting those good reloads, and compensate for the lack of mastery like that. Whereas with your mat, with your match matchlock hunting, you need to be able to face tank a lot of your mobs, 
and you need to be able to burn them down quick. That fourth shot for getting guru hunting will speed that up. Having artifacts like if you guys are trying to do your frost wolves, you guys are trying to burn down a lot of your matchlock mobs. The Black Spirit Rage is a great way to do that and a way to increase how much Black Spirit Rage that you are getting for your matchlock hunting. Two artifact, well, one artifact, but having two of them comes to mind. If you are out there in Histria or uh, Kraktua, getting the Kahalel artifact i don't even know if i pronounced that right i probably didn't i mean come on american what do you expect but getting those artifacts two of those will increase your black spirit rage and you can do that cannon burst to burn through five to six at a time using two of those throwing on your death blow i think it's your death blow combination will increase how quickly you can kill all of your your mobs out there matchlock hunting I should make a, a video on that lightstone combination once I can get the strike and all that. I'm waiting on the lightstones to get the combination put together to show you a more advanced matchlock hunting combination. Yeah, for sniper hunt for sniper hunting, I use the marksman lightstone combination. Mastery, mastery, mastery. That's all I'm stocking. So I appreciate the increase of the the stupid uh, um, crystal presets, the lightstone preset, all of it. I wish they gave us more of the actual presets for the... Do I need Fuja Sap? Yeah, I can go for Fuja Sap, that's fine. But for the actual lightstone preset, that'd be great. I'd be able to have more than just a little 10 here. Yeah, I haven't gone Essence Gathering here in a while. I mainly stick over to Garmy's Lair, but I need something different. A little variety in the usual, we go to the same place every single time type of situation. And the Thuja is welcome. Though I think... Though I think I do need to do the Thuja chopping instead trade crate purposes only you know how that goes capitalize on everything that you can so that you don't have to do it later on nope thuja yeah the thuja mixed with the i think it's snowfield should make me a lot of money on the trade crates. Uh, obviously, if I sold the materials on their own, I could make more, but you know me and my backward ass fucking life skilling logic. I like to torture myself with not making any money so I can enjoy the things that I do. All right, so now that we're going all the way down from the top, we should make our way down to Garmi, which should have more drive dry pine or dry moss keep forgetting it's moss tree moss fucking tree cedar cedar dry moss Thuja? no not Thuja. you should be you can always tell Thuja. That line right there, that's the, the one surefire way to tell if you're gathering Thuja or not, because they all have the same shit. Yep, Thuja up here. Just like the dry moss is always, you know, has moss at the bottom, like over here. You can tell. The moss. Context clues, people. Context clues. Oh man, oh man, I'm running out of room. I'm running out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, where are you at? Right behind me. Uh, 
Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yo, that did not give me the 1,000 Thuja. Or the dry pine nothing, like... That was weird. It gave me a drop. You guys seen that shit, right? Yeah, it gave me a drop. Just not... Anything. <laughs> wow, okay. So, good to know. We went ahead and shown that the goblin is not only for the sap. If you get that goblin when you're gathering an item... Open slots. Oh, trust me. I, I have more than two open slots available. <laughs> but I was doing the... I don't know if that was a dry moss or if that was a Thuja, but your boy got nothing. I think that was a dry pine that I, or the dry moss, fuck. Dry moss that I gathered, which is why I got nothing for it. But that's interesting. It's good to know. I'm like, uh, hold on. Stop the press. Something did not work. Did that the other day. He hit him in the game and had no space. Oh, God, no. I always make sure I have enough inventory slots on me. Like, I made sure my inventory shit would be maxed out. And I have as much things in my, um, not in my inventory, but many, as many bags as I possibly can to keep up my organization. So I'm not running out of the slots. Inventory management has always been a, a huge issue in Black Desert. And as soon as I had the availability to go all pay to win as I possibly can for my inventory, I took that shot. I took that shot completely and I did not want to have to deal with my inventory management anymore. Weight, however, weight is an issue still. That's fine. I can accept that. But the slots? Fuck no. That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing after getting all the slots and then you're like, yeah, and you're not paying attention and you hit that limit like, oh shit, I have a, I have like 190 slots and how did I, how did I forget? And it's worse when you are so far away and you have to wait for your maids too. I think that's even worse. Like my Pilgrim's Haven alt. Even though I'm closer to Sambazar and all, it's just so inconvenient having to run back because I forgot about my inventory. I was not paying attention. Okay, so what do moss trees go for? What do we what do we use this for? Can I do anything in terms of material factory? Let's do a quick check on our worker factories, the lumber factory, and see if we can't do anything with the moss before I get too ahead of the game. I can't wait until they remove the pay to win gather or the pay to win crafting. So can I, can't wait. I'll dump my money into auto completing shit. Okay, Snowfield and Thornwood to make the Thorn Timber. Snowfield and Thuja. Okay, so going and making that is going to be my best interest. Elder Tree, Moss Tree, White Acacia, and there's really nothing else for the stupid moss. That's unfortunate. Got a plus. You got it to plus eight. Yo, I stopped at plus eight. I'm not going to lie to you. I stopped at plus eight when I first got my rifle, too. You're good. You are at the the best point of killing things quickly. Uh, plus eight. Hell, plus six is good. So don't don't worry. Don't fret. Take your time. You got it. I believe in you. Yeah, let's start putting things in our storage because I am overweight. Okay, so in Olivia, we're going to toss in... Let's check our sap. Luffy tree sap. No, oh, I just wasted that for nothing. 10k. Check. 
Dead Tree Essence, we are at 600. We still need more. Next, we'll throw in... Let's throw in all of our flowers. Our moss tree sap. Oh, there's no maids available. That's cool. I don't care. We got everything in that we needed. We're just trying to get the, the Dead Tree Essence. I like your rifle. Please don't shoot me. Oh god, it's a social experiment. Oh, oh sweet baby G I can't play dead. Damn it, am I really gonna have to gonna sit there and pick it up myself? God damn it. God damn it, where are you? Alright, play dead. Well skiddly fucking do and cuckoo ka choo. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. Late reaction. I'm dead. <laughs> Oh god, you shot me. Call the popo. Call 911. Oh, the torture. The torture. Don't mind me, I'm also eating. <laughs> I'm also eating on the floor. <laughs> Wait, why am I able to consume food while I'm playing dead? I see a discrepancy there. Am I just laying there like... I'm dead. <laughs> oh, I can I can imagine trying to kind of like play dead in front of a, a fucking robber or anything like that. Give me all your money. Trying to eat a piece of cheese while he's robbing you. Bro, I can see you moving. I'm not moving. I'm playing dead. <laughs> I am not alive. <laughs> Uh, let me double check my time and see how much I have. Oh, uh, we're still good. We're still great. We have time. Time is not on my side, but this dry moss will hopefully give me the, the time needed or reduce the time needed. Just because, why the fuck not? Scorpion meat. Shy down! Shy down! Call the FBI, call the CIA, call Biden. Don't call Biden, actually. Please don't. I'll call his ass for assistance and he'll he'll get to the scene. Okay, so what's going on now? Bitch, what do you mean you forgot? What do you mean with your old ass? Let me stop. That poor old elderly guy. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna get me. You're not gonna get me. <laughs> My fucking little bubble. The highlight of our day, I swear. How you know you're really playing Black Desert. <laughs> when you'd rather spend your time not doing shit in the game, that's how you know you're playing Black Desert. Oftentimes, I stand there and I stare at my character and not do shit. Like, oh yeah, today's gonna be the day that I'm gonna power level X, Y, and Z, and then I stand there. And I stand there. <laughs> and I don't do shit. I can't, I can't lie. I just stand there. It's a pretty game. It's definitely a pretty game that I can find myself getting lost into. I know it's a little white knight-ish. But if you guys are running with the remastered graphics and all, it's a pretty game. I could have this shit on screensaver. I'm gonna be out here gathering and Garmy's gonna drop down on my fucking head. Oh yeah, figures, I'm in a puddle. Guilty of the same. <laughs> of course, Osi. Of course you would be. I mean, how could you not? We may have our problems with life skilling and they could really use a lot of quality patches and some TLC, but let's be real, bro. This shit looks great. <laughs> it looks great. You can sit there and, and get lost in just the waves. 
you know, people running around, people AFKing. I'm not gonna lie to you. You know, it's it's a little therapeutic over there at the storage, listening to people chopping things and cheering. The horse is running. There's about three peeps near Gummy Mission NPC. Yeah, they've been chilling there. They've been chilling there. I don't know if that's like a foreshadowing of hey, by the way, that hour is coming up again and he's about to spawn. Don't or she's about to spawn. Don't be under her. Or if I should worry for my life because they're gonna they're gonna one shot my ass. I see you guys over there. My mini map don't lie. I see you, wizard. At least you you look like a wizard. Are you a wizard? Oh no, you're a witch. I see you, witch. Berserker. And get away from them before I like attract attention. Flag him! Flag him, he's a shy. He's a gathering shy. Because <laughs> there's nothing better than hunting down a shy that's out there in the wild gathering. To say this like I'm a shy. Like I'm not a shy, sorry. It's all sarcasm. Yeah, I kicked one of them and they didn't they didn't have a problem with it, so Yeah, I, I tried. Insult their mom. Maybe one of them will flag on me then. No, I know one of them will flag on me then. I don't care. Even as a shy, if a shy is gonna fucking insult me, I'm gonna flag on the shy just because why not? That shy needs to die. That shy got a little bit too brazen with life. That, that shy has been walking on the edge and I think I need to push it. And this is coming from a shy. There's been times where I've looked at a shy and they just, they've gotten in my, my gathering area to the point where I just really wanted to merc them. It's like, come on, shouldn't we be sticking together? Eat my flow rank. That's what I think about sticking together. My flow rank comes back, will you? A little aggressive. A little aggressive, but my shy has the, the whole short person syndrome. I can't, I can't exactly call it a short guy syndrome because, you know, she's not a dude, but... She suffers from being short so she has to overcompensate and try murdering everyone that tries to get in her little gathering area she gets it from my wizard cousin lore my my wizard is the um the dad of the family and he has anger issues because he's pretty short because you know he sat off of me, and I'm short as fuck, bro. All of you in here, I, I'm i not even gonna sugarcoat it, and I'm not even gonna try to lie. I am, I'm like five foot four. I'm short as fuck. I have to stand on my tippy toes to be accepted onto a roller coaster. I'm not short. I have yet to encounter that issue, but... Still, I'm a roaming gnome, and the roaming gnome never roams alone. Isn't that right, Ozzy? <laughs> How much of the dead tree essence do I have now? 200. We need 300 more. We're getting there. We're getting there slowly. Whoops. That was so slow, I don't know why I hit the space bar. The getting the 50 dead tree essence is amazing. Easy to pick things off the floor. There's a plus. Nah, nah, not even. <laughs> not even. If anything, I am mainly used as like a, a drink coaster. A little fold-out table. <laughs> Anything to, to put your plate or cup on my head. Hey, I like your laptop table. That's me. <laughs> That's my head. 
<laughs> oh yeah, thank you for the follow. You are fucking amazing. I like the name. I am Smalley. Huge shout out. Because I'm a small bean. I like the name. I was like, perfect timing. <laughs> I don't care. Perfect timing indeed. And just my luck, I'm gonna have to channel change. I feel like I'm wasting a lot of time not channel changing out here. Wait, let's try these ones and then we'll channel change. And as I'm channel changing, I'm gonna go grab me, grab me another drink and... We're going to continue our gathering because we have to put all of these ingredients together to make our spirit perfume. And let me check the time. Yeah, I refuse to end our session until I get our spirit perfumes made up. And I can't even pre-order the shit either, so that's going to be out of the the options. So, dried moss it is. We'll grind it out. We need almost 200 more. And we're good. I feel like we can get that. Especially if I increase my my mastery up a little bit more. And possibly pop my sharp alchemy stone alive to increase my gathering item drop rate. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. You work from the big, big shrine down to Garmi and then repeat. Yeah, I think I'm actually going back down now. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going back down to the shrine so I can change channels and then repeat. I technically, let's see, I, what I like to do is I like to start all the way up here. Night Crow, I will go all the way around, make my way down, and snake all the way down here. Channel change and then go all the way back up like that. And then channel change again. Keep keep going like that. It's a little bit more time consuming having to travel, but if you have a faster horse and you can sprint around, it shouldn't be that bad. That's just if you're wanting to go a little bit too extreme with your, your dry moss. Do I have to channel? Yes, I do. I can finally channel change. All right. Let's get our channel changed and hope they don't die during all this. Fuck, I didn't even think about that. All right, I'll be right back. Let me go grab a drink real fast and we will continue what we are doing. Be right back, everyone.
sorry about that, everyone. I'm back. All right. Like we were doing. Um, bum, 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 bum. Got so used to your loop, it hard to change it up. Yeah, that's how I feel about doing, say, like uh, the Supreme or yeah, Serene Lake or whatever it's called, the pond out there. Doing the herb gathering, it just doesn't feel the same like with bear. Thank you, Ozzy. I do appreciate it. Huge shout out to you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Like I said, I gotta start giving you guys more appreciation. I gotta show you guys, you know. I like talking to you guys. I enjoy it. All that good stuff. And let's be real. If it wasn't for you guys, I'd probably be working at Wendy's again. Working at Burger King. Any any place like that. What's that? While they're I'm like, oh, is there Tef? I'll gather some Tef. No, I really won't. Tef is fucking stupid. It'd be Bracken anyway. And I don't feel like Bracken is really a good moneymaker, to be honest with you all. I I think Bracken is a little well underwhelming now. Once Land of the Morning Light came out, I have no need to manually gather for Bracken. It's sad. Oh yeah, I gotta buff up. I need to increase my mastery. I have to increase my drop rate. All of that good shit. Yeah, not anymore. It used to be. Now it's just a waste of your time. And the value. The value especially goes ahead and, and reflects as such. Okay, we're back at our 577 energy. And our mastery is sitting at a pretty 2k. The demand was extremely high. When the Mountain of Eternal Winter region was just new, I feel like the value was extremely high with the stir fried bracken, the stir fried bracken and meat, shit like that. Where's my phone? Hold on, guys, let me grab my phone real fast. All right. Like, my room is so... I guess the layout is so squished that the air doesn't leave the window when the window is open. The air doesn't... The only time the air gets sucked in from the window when it is open is if I have the AC running. Which is, like, completely fucking stupid. But the room will overheat if I don't do anything. <laughs> it's, like, a, a weird room situation here even though I don't really need the scorpion meat that's a little pocket change on the side What's up, Albert? How you doing today? Hope you had a, a good weekend in Black Desert. You looking forward to the new update that's coming out this uh, Wednesday? I'm not sure what it is. I do not know. I'm going to have to look it up. But I'm curious, like, are you waiting for it? Or is it just going to be another, another little day for you? The last update was just a, a normal little day for me. I thought there'd be more, but the Unified Bloods wasn't really hitting. <laughs> It didn't hit me like I thought it would, like a, a, a angry, drunk stepdad. It was kind of like a timid mother trying to trying to spank their child. It's like, oh, like, I guess it's something, right? <laughs> Need that mini game.
You're just coming back to the game. Many new things. Oh, hell yeah. You want to dedicate to life skill. Welcome to the team. Welcome to the party. We are we are mainly 95% only ever doing life skilling here on the channel. Am I going the wrong direction? I am going the wrong direction. I need to be going up. Yeah, I'm going in uh, the really wrong direction over here. We gotta go up. That's where we're going. That was totally my bad. That moment you stop paying attention to directions because you're talking too much. <laughs> Only me. On more. We need more. We're at 297. Can I put that item count? No, I can't. It would be nice to be able to put in any item into an item count on your UI or anything of the such. Maybe I should put that in the feedback post. Maybe that little quality of life update will actually go through. They'll consider it. It's not game breaking, right? To have a item count on your UI for the items that you're gathering. We can only have one item. That's fine. We don't have to have a list of items on the UI. We can have it just pop up one and then we can select another one and it'll automatically change it. That's cool. It'd just be a great idea. It'd help out the life skilling community. Maybe even the mob grinding if you're trying to keep an eye on how much... Well, no, I think the trash automatically gets counted, right? You can pop it up on the UI. Like, I know you can do it for... Whoops, not that one. Not that one, hold on. Yeah, I know you can do it for, say, items like that. But it would be nice to have the material, the item count, and all that on the UI, and we can easily just close out of it. You know, we uh, start tracking another one, and it'll automatically remove it. It'd be great. A little quality of life update that doesn't really break anything. Let's get this one. Head over there. Nope. Head over here. I get lucky. Get lucky. I know you can. I know you can. You have shown me time and time again. Oh, we're getting back down there. So let's head back up another level and then head down. Or we'll head back up to the crow's nest and change channels from up there. Yeah, minigame, come on, get the dead tree essence. Oh, fuck. Great. <laughs> oh, woe is me. This is gonna be costly. It's lagging me. Oh no, this is lagging me a lot. Oh, too heavy. Oh man. <laughs> Come on. Hey, 
in. This is annoying. I'll get through this eventually. Any day now. <laughs> it's not a ginseng, but it'll do. All right. Yeah, it wasn't a ginseng, but it'll do. Now that that's all of them, 137 sharps, uh, 285 of the hards, we got almost 150 of all of the fruits pushing up to 200 now, and we need 200 of the dead tree essence left. How much time do we have left? We have 40 minutes remaining on this session, so I want to hurry up and blow past all of the dead tree essence we need now. We gotta stop playing games. We gotta get serious. Come on, come on, get our Thuja, get our Thuja while we can. Over here, skip everything. Like I said, we gotta get serious. We gotta get totally super serial. Dry moss tree. Come on, be the one I'm looking for. Be the minigame I'm looking for. God damn. I'm also looking for the ginseng too, but that 50 dead tree essence, that's what I'm mainly looking for. Get that crocking. I'll even take the minigame for the scorpion, too. That'd be fun. Come on, now. Four. We are now at 311. No pressure, just 190 left. I was even doing alchemy earlier to try to speed up how much dead tree essence I needed. Well, I've, of course, the dead tree essence doesn't proc like that, but I tried. I tried my luck. I probably would have been better off going out here and gathering prior to all this. Lots more energy. Let's start going back down. I'd rather stay in the shorter area and channel change like that. I think that'll do me some wonder. Down we go! Hashtag when you're fucking stuck. Mm. 
There we go. We're not stuck anymore, don't worry. Yeah, this spot is for the dead tree essence. Change channels and start again. The moss trees out here, the dry moss trees, give the dead tree... Oh, whoops. <laughs> whoops indeed. More like, oh my god. Oh my god. How did I get stuck? It's alright, we got out. Yay, Shy is free. I'm gonna say, please tell me we did not get into the wrong channel. Tell me I did not waste 10 minutes of my motherfucking life. If you're not shopping, you're just flopping. I could do advertisements. Just chop more trees down. Hey, Moose, my other channel member. What's up, man? How you doing? Welcome back. Any good life skilling goals met? Any good mob grinding enhancing goals? Anything? You looking forward to the new update that's coming out Wednesday? I don't know what it's about. I'm not even gonna lie to you. The scorpion meat do I have? 465? That's not bad either. Did some hunting today. Hell yeah. But my county in Land of the Morning Light 2 has a lot of the dry... Yes. Yeah, if you are looking around Zenitsu, head out to Land of the Morning Light. There is a shit ton. All up in here, there are some around in Dokibi Forest. A lot of the forest, for some reason, has a lot of your moss. Hit 1650 mastery. Ooh, big numbers. Big numbers. Congrats, bro. I love a high hunting mastery. Especially with all of the things that we can get with the high mastery. That's one I will tell you to invest in. I just wish there was more of a reward. I just wish it was more worth investing in or I just felt like it was worth it. Okay, okay, okay. Goblin time, goblin time. Please give me the dead tree essence unlock. No, you didn't. Damn, that would have been great. That would have been really great. Keep popping. We're not stopping. Just hoping we're not gonna have to. Wait. Yeah, I'm just hoping we're not gonna have to cut it short. T9 materials are getting stacked up. You'll try to tap a female diner doom soon. Yeah, I'm stuck on my diner doom. At this point, it. Or no, no, I'm stuck on. I either have to tap up for a dine, or I'm gonna have to breed up another corsair for a doom. But I'm stocking up my materials again, including my T10 attempts. If I can get enough of the materials for the sensors and get enough of the sensors, I might try for another attempt. I might. I'm not sure because of how unlucky I am. Thing is where the money is at. Yeah, that's what we've been talking about this whole entire session while I've been gathering. <laughs> you know, hunting is a great money maker. Get lucky. We're wasting time. Am I still at my 2k mastery? No, I'm not. That's probably why.
Yeah, congrats, Moose. I am at plus nine too. I have the materials together to make my or to force tap my plus ten. I just haven't gotten around to it. And every time I go out and try to go for my compass, I get more of the mass pure magics needed. I thought about luck tapping it, but after all of the time and effort into force tapping it, I don't want to waste it. Like, I force tapped all of it up. Well, I plus fived it and then force tapped it all the way after. I didn't want to take a chance. Or was it plus six and then force tapped? Either way, I didn't want to take a chance. I, I force tapped it. And I feel like it'd be a waste if I tried to yellow tap and it went down. That was already a hundred and something scorched gems and the pure mass magics, which is a little costly if you are not out there mob grinding or have a worker on the node. Like me, I don't. I have no intentions on getting a, a worker on that node either. So I should. I've gotten enough now. Until they come out with another reason to go out and get the mass of pure magic, so I have no reason to get it. I should go for Pinmanos Hunters. Is it worth the 60 bill? Yeah. I'd go for it. If you have the money and you think it's a good investment, go for it, bro. Who am I to tell you that what you think is wrong? True? It's your game. Play it how you want it. Yeah, no, like, I think it's worth it. Oh, it, it's enough. But do you want more rare drops? That's why I say I feel like it's worth it. Only for getting more of those rare drops. Those rare drops is money. Money is always a, a good incentive. If you have the money for it, go for it. But if you're going to cut yourself short, bro, don't do it. Don't cut yourself short just to get a little increase. That's why I like to keep a lot of the extras on hand so I can do my tapping and not cut myself short. I can still have fun and not have to lose out. Hell yeah, thank you for the subby, fucking Cortex. You are amazing, and I do apologize about the late response on that. Hell yeah, we got one new subby on the goal. Hell yeah. It's also a great way to stack up for... Oh yeah, stack up the blood for alchemy. Yeah, it is. You can easily get a lot of your meat for, say, the Beot County Guff Bap. You can get a lot of your alchemy for the clown blood, the sinner's blood. Like, it's great. It's amazing. And like we had mentioned earlier, sniper hunting is extremely OP. It may be broken or it's intentional. Whatever the case may be, the shit is OP as fuck. If you're out there and you're getting into hunting, sniper hunting is end game. Like, if, there, if there's an end game in Black Desert for hunting... Sniping hunting is the, the end game aspect for hunting. I don't care. Argue with me. Hands down. You'll lose. You'll lose. Just in terms of the money that you can make, the... I guess um, the mastery needed to get a lot of that money and the fact that people are making 1.5 bill, 1.7 bill easily. Like, uh, come on. That's, that's end game. That's what we expect to do once we, we've we hit a certain, like, guru. Once we hit guru. Like, sure, you can go chill out at the Frost Wolves, or you can chill out over in Dragon and all that, but still, like, doing the, the sniper hunting, you make a shit ton of money. You can power level your hunting, your gathering. You get all of these crystals and, and shit like that. There's no no denying it. It's also so much fun trying to headshot the tiger boss while dodging is what you needed in life. Yeah, it adds a little bit of exhilaration. Get a little anxiety, a little rush from trying to headshot a, a tiger point blank while he's trying to swipe you at the same time. 
Felix, oh, that's a thing lie. The hitboxing out here is pretty fucked up, too. The loopy trees are not the, the only ones. At least with sniper hunting, you can make that 60 bill back res reasonably quickly. Yeah, no, you can make that 60 bill back extremely quick. Whether you're turning the trophies in, whether you are just turning the, the meat in, using the meat to cook things, or the, the blood for alchemy, no, you're making money back. You're making that money back extremely quick. That's why I went over the top with my sniper hunting. You've been hunting with the matchlock and Narcion up to Master 4 right now. You haven't started doing sniper hunting yet since you have to craft the sniper because the SI server, there's no supply. Oh yeah, I understand that. That's how it was when Land of the Morning Light first came out. I had to rely solely on my Dokubi worker to get the supply needed to craft it because we couldn't buy anything. There wasn't anything to buy yet. But yeah, it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. And stick over in Narcion up until you hit Guru for that fourth shot. Just spam your grass rhinos. If you can get your Tet Manos, you can face tank two of them and not bat an eye. If you have your infinite ma your infinite health potion, dude, you're set. It doesn't matter what stage of the infinite health potion you have. You can sit out there and do grass rhinos all day if you wanted. Power level all the way up to Guru. Get your fourth shot unlocked. So if you want to do other things like the uh, Frost Wolves or the Shadow Wolves, you can go ahead and do it and have that fourth shot to speed it up. Yeah, no, with sniper hunting, work on getting that sniper rifle and then try to get mastery. Stock up that mastery, stack it up, and I'd say 1400 and above will give you some pretty good drops. Yeah, I told you, sniper hunting will level you up really quick and get your gathering leveled. Got that 50 dead tree essence. Okay, we are almost there. Fourth shot is super nice to have with matchlock hunting. Best spot for usable hide, another hide. Any place that you can do hunting doesn't really matter. There is no good spot for it as long as you are just hunting. If you're trying to get the claws and you do, say, the shadow wolves or the, the fangs, you do shadow wolves or the frost wolves. You, you know what I mean? Like, you're mainly, you are looking at a, what will make you the most money, or I guess in your case, for the trophies, you will just look at what trophies drop from which mob. That's all. You're going to get a lot of them. If you have a high enough mastery, you're going to get a shit ton of your trophies, no matter which mobs you're going for. Okay? You don't have the endgame matchlock either. Takes so fucking long to kill a single shadow lion. Yeah, I don't suggest doing your shadow lines until you have a certain level of gear. For matchlock hunting, I think your shadow lions would be the last bracket. Well, it was the last bracket that you'd be going for before they introduced the sniper hunting. Shadow wolves, the frost wolves, the shadow lions. That's what you'd be hunting for back before they introduced you know, end of the morning light. So, yeah, I suggest going out with some OP hunting gear if you're going to do your shadow lines. Like, for that, I suggest going out with your Tet Manos, your end game, your, your plus 10 master match lock. You'd have to have your infinite mana, your infinite health potion. And I know people will say to do your horseback riding with your matchlock to kill your shadow line so you know preferably a faster mount one that can live longer higher dp shit like that like if you're going out and doing the shadow wolves or the shadow lines you know any mobs that will go and group up together i suggest getting the two kahalel artifacts the Black Spirit Rage, max increase. 
you get two of those throw on your death blow that will hurry up and burn down extreme like uh, the huge groups of the wolves and help you you know make a lot of money that way you got a few shadow line heads but not enough high to upgrade it to the best one well yeah you're not expected to be able to get the best of the best at a moment's notice i mean it's black desert man they make they torture the fuck out of you just for lols hurry up and change we got 30 minutes left I'm probably stick with sniper hunting to at least guru one then might switch after that hey however you want to do it however you want to do it it's good money either way you can't deny hunting sniper hunting matchlock hunting hunting in general Terry up and then i'll use a blue map to teleport over to duvin croon so i'm not wasting the time teleport all the way out to velia then pop my yellow grade map to teleport all the way to olvia so again i'm not wasting the time it may not be as straightforward as being able to teleport from here to olvia but at least i'll have a way to teleport to Duvencroon to Velia out to Olvia. Just have to deal with the little loading screen in between. Oh, happy birthday, Moose. Huge shout out to my channel member. Birthday today. Congrats. I hope you got all your birthday wishes and or you got at least something close to your birthday wishes. Mine is in the beginning of the year. Yeah, it's no problem. No problem indeed. All right, ninety-seven percent weight limit. That's uh, probably because of the dry, the old tree branch. Yeah. I did it the most inconvenient way. Oh yeah, Moses. Oh yeah, OC. Birthday wishes to the Moose. That's it. We're good. What's up, Mahomet? How you doing? Now that we got our last 500 dead tree essence that we needed, let's start teleporting out. We hit it. We got it. So, open up Valencia, we'll take the blue grade map from the blue grade map. Let me check to see how... Actually, I can ride to the teleport. I don't have to do that. So, I can pop the blue grade once I get over to Velia and teleport over to Olvia like that. Got a big-ass cake to enjoy with your family? What more can you ask for? Exactly, what more can you ask for? A big-ass fucking cake and your family. Best fucking times. Not too bad. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Any good life skilling goals? Any good enhancing and or mob grinding done this weekend? And are you waiting for the new update? I don't know what it's about, but I hope there's anything for life skilling. Hopefully it hits better than this last update was. I wasn't expecting to get all of the materials within the three hour time frame, but that's not too bad. We did all of our flower, all of our dead tree essence, all of our loopy. We did... Well, we're about to get the last amount of traces that we need. Quick little session. All just to make the spirit perfume. And I'm going to have to waste even more money on a plus three alchemist clothes. I'm still trying. Uh, get get off like i'm still trying to get it but i haven't gotten any any luckier than what i have 5 a.m you're trying to get some sleep good night moose enjoy the rest of your morning your late morning bro you're hunting at narcian with 1700 mastery last six hours you can't drop oh i hate that nothing you're you just have bad luck bro 
RNG is a thing. Everyone has to remember, a lot of times it's not what you're doing wrong, it's just luck. Just luck, that's all. Much like with my, my clothes that I'm going to try to enhance, if I can actually pick the right section and I have them available... Just like with the clothes that I, I want to try to tap up, you know, you have to remember it's all about luck. All about luck. At the end of the day, Black Desert is synonymous with pushing your, your fucking RNG to the extreme. For why? I don't know. See how much we have made on the sharps and the, the hards. But the sharps... Let's see. Not too bad. That'll make up all of the money that I wasted for the keys. So, 297. And for the hards, another... That's pretty low. 646.7. Nice, nice. Okay, and then lastly, the Cafras. The Cafras is going to be low to 100.4 mil. All right, so we are already at, I can't remember, did I, did I do Balanos? I don't know, we'll, we'll do it again, just in case, I can't remember. Yeah, so already before we even set foot into our Alchemist Den, we're at, what, 600, another 100... Another 200, yeah, so like 700 to 800 mil before taxes or after taxes. I don't know, we're still making bank. Oh, yeah, before I do anything, let's get our map. Head to Olivia to not waste any time. When Narcy on something area comes to game, uh, it's more lucky than now something happened. Uh, you're reading too much into it, bro. Again, it's all about your RNG. Random number game. Like it's all about your your RNG. You're reading too much into it. You're not doing anything wrong. Don't stress it. Don't worry too much, okay? I'm trying to tell you. It's not you. It's the game. <laughs> Alright, you're doing everything as intended. All right, now that we're in Olivia, let's get started with our alchemy. Oh, I do want to auto sort everything using the storage because our storage chest in the per our personal storage chest won't do anything. This way I can do all of that. Look at that. Convenience at its finest. That is a life life skilling quality of life update if I do say if I do see one myself. Ah, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, from memory, you went from Master One to Guru One with no Narcion drop. Was furious? Yeah, no. There was that one day that I was out there power leveling my hunting. I did not get one breath of Narcion, and it was funny because OC the whole time I was doing it, Vand was out there doing his hunting too and was blinking. Oh, I got two more Narcion. Oh, there goes more Narcion. Oh, I just got this Narcion, that Narcion. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? Like, what the fuck? Uh, then again, I was tapping up my hunter's clothes while he was trying to tap up his, and I was getting mine. But, you know, it's all about just random numbers. You're not doing anything wrong. Don't you worry, Mehmet. You're doing everything as Black Desert intends for you to do. And if they want to torture you and, and make you feel like you're wasting your time, by all means, Black Desert will. They're really great with it. Throw in our plus three. Let's get into our alchemy artifacts of light stone. The crystals. We're going to go with the mastery for this one. I forgot we died and lost that one crystal. There. Only reason why I restored it is because I've been trying to fill up all my mastery crystals. And if I lose that one, that just destroys the whole entire plan it makes me have to do another one and i don't want to do that because i'm also putting the materials into my fucking jetna accessory 
So many things. So many things. Don't mind me. I am just griping. I'm complaining to complain. You know me. Less QQ, more pew pew. But yet I'm just always fucking crying me a river like Justin Timberlake. Uh, was there anything else? License combination, pets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are good to go. I need the uh, resources. So, off the top of my head, let me see if I can remember. We need trace of dark. Oh, the trace of darkness. Before I get all settled into this rotation, the trace of darkness. I'm gonna have to grab the byproducts from alchemy because we can, or the powder of darkness. We can exchange 10 of them for 200, so I'm going to take, I think it's 100, should give me the amount needed for our 10k trace of darkness, or powder of darkness I need for this recipe. It's real convenient if you guys are out there doing your alchemy all day, or you do it while you're sleeping, or just in general. 10 of them, yes. 2k, 2k will leave me with 1k after. Yeah, that's enough. If you complain, it will come. RNG dream. RNG of dreams quote. Yeah, no, that's so fucking true. The more I complain, the more I bitch about it, the more likely I am to, to get that tap or get that one drop. How many, how many days did I go through bitching and complaining about getting the stupid little ginseng... And uh, I got it, but when I wasn't complaining about it, I wasn't getting shit. As fucked up as it is, as annoying as it is to sit there and QQ the whole entire day, like, let's be real, that shit really worked. It worked in its odd type of way. You only need a thousand of that. Okay, one, two, three, Powder of Darkness. I don't know if I have enough weight. Oh, we're cutting it close. We're cutting it close, which means I have something on me that is taking up a lot of weight that I need to get rid of. Old tree branch. I guess we can throw that in front. Good. Now let's get started with our alchemy. It's not going to take us too long, so I'm not going to worry about the buffing up. I know I have it in here. Oh, the flowers. <laughs> oh, silly me. I forgot the flowers. And we do six. Yeah, keep it like that. So if RNG, so if it's RNG, should you save your Stella's, the Stella Spirit Stone? Yes. Yeah, the more master you have, the more likely you're able to get any of your rare drops. So it is a great idea to stack up your mastery. Yeah, you're not doing anything wrong though. Okay, just try to remember that. So for the three hours that it took us to go and gather all of the ingredients needed for our spirit elixir, let's find out how many we can make and how much it'll make us at the very end. So a thousand crafts. I know this should make me 680 mil. I think 680 mil for the thousand that I'm doing here. They are valued at 1.6 million each. Uh, average. Average. But let's do a quick price check for you guys and show you. So 1.7 right now. Yeah, 1.7. And then let's take that and times that by, would it be, 10. At least I think it's going to be 10. Hmm. 
No, I don't think that's right. I don't think I'm going to be making a thousand, but we'll find out. We'll see. You guys have a rough idea on how much it'll make you for a hundred. We're almost at that hundred. So that's our first hundred and seventy-five mil. And I still have to make back... Every time I start to make back a bill, I spend it on something else. We had to buy all those gold keys. That was 300 mil. I bought uh, another alchemist clothes. That's another plus 200 or uh, another 200 mil that I have to remake back. We got an unknown seed. That'll help. Yeah, the rare drops will definitely help with making back the money. Her timing at one. That's a little slow. Maybe that's not gonna be so slow then what's our mastery sitting at so for my alchemy because i'm not using the alchemist clothes it is the 1375 but if i was to throw on our alchemy clothes let's find out yeah you are 1675 see if we can't get luckier I'm not really worried about the experience. It's pretty good experience as it is. So I'm not really worried about it. If I can get a rare drop, that'd be a lot better. I'm mainly looking for that King Sharp Alchemy Stone. Or Sturdy, whichever one it is. It'll make me money. That's where the money's at. The Unknown Seed. The... Burnt Remnants and the Sharps or the Sturdies, whichever one they are. I think it's the Sturdy Alchemy Stones that we can get. Those are what really will make you money with Alchemy. It doesn't matter what recipe you're doing, you have a chance of getting them. So I don't mind spamming the Pure Powder or the Liquid Reagents. I, I'll still make some money. It may not be as much money as trying to do an actual elixir rotation or a elixir recipe or anything like that, but I will still make money on the rare drops. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. We have 800 more. And my fiance is running late with her closing, so she might take a little bit longer to get home. Hopefully I should get done my alchemy beforehand, but if not, that should help out with getting it all done and showing you guys the amount that we can make without having to put everything else on hold. I just barely got enough of the dead tree essence to not have to worry. So I might be cutting it a little bit close with making up everything. But it wasn't bad. It wasn't a bad three-hour session. Hell yeah. Thank you for uh, becoming a channel member, Moses. You are fucking amazing. Huge shout out to Moses over there on YouTube. I got to start getting some member exclusive content made up for you guys. Something that'll really tickle your fancy. Which I'm thinking I'm going to do my advanced hunting artifact and lightstone combination for you guys that one i i think i'm i will spend the couple billion on the lightstones just for that yeah it's a little bit more advanced i mean yeah i'm sure you guys can find it but it took me a while to find it and do all that without joining a discord and all that dumb shit so i'm gonna work on that for you guys Oh, I'm trying to get a central market. 
Let's do a quick price check. God damn. That's the problem about living next to a highway. I appreciate it, Moses. I could not do this without you guys. Let's be real. You know, you guys, the channel members over there on YouTube, my subbies over here on Twitch, just all of you guys in general that come in every day. You guys make it more and more enjoyable for me. And I, I want to come back and talk to you guys. I want to keep making content. I want to help you guys out. It's fun. Oh, 4.6 billion. Damn. Damn. That's horrible. But I'm going to need a strike. I need a strike. Um, I have to double check. What is the other really expensive one? I think strike or shadows or strike and shadows or strike and blade. It's one of those two, but I'm going to get the combinations made up for you guys. I'm going to get everything sorted. Hopefully, if I get lucky enough, I could get my Guru Alchemy to reduce the cost of trying to purify my lightstones. But if not, I guess I'm going to try my luck. I'm going to try to purify that shit. You know that's a silver sink. That's a silver sink in a fucking nutshell. But we'll do it. Or at least we'll try it. While we're waiting, let's try to buy a base alchemist clothes. Yo, I don't know what's up with everyone buying the silver embroidered alchemist clothes, but you guys need to knock it the fuck off. Like, stop. Let me buy the clothes so I can tap it. I don't want to craft it. I'm being lazy. Stop ordering out all of the base alchemist clothes and and yo whoever's making these alchemist clothes why are you slacking what the fuck step up your game sell to the masses <laughs> be like nike and just do it wear shia labeouf when you need them like na is the the life skilling paradise the, the the fucking america of the the fucking world war ii era like come on this is the land of dreams like what the fuck what are we doing why don't i have any base silver embroidered alchemist clothes on hand to just buy like i can go out i could buy a hundred silver embroidered trader clothes and tap them up like that which i did okay i i did don't get me wrong don't get me twisted i did this is the last little stack that i have but i can't get that on the alchemist clothes what are we doing na what are we doing with our lives? We need to step up our game. EU is putting us to shame with how much their life's going. Like, we're we're like kindergartners over here, dabbling in the sandbox, talking about, I can build sandcastles. Sit the fuck down. Come on, NA. <laughs> I should be able to buy silver embroidered like it's nothing. Not a plus five. I don't care about the plus fours, but a base silver embroidered? What? What? It's like magic tools. If there are no magic tools in stock, what are we doing with our lives? We get that shit free. We get so many of them for free that I never have to touch the central market. So for people not to sell them, like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Fucking sneaky. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah, no, it's all of them migrating and sliding us down, yeah, no. No, I just feel like NA should have a lot more in stock, and we don't. Like, we're letting ourselves down. <laughs> this is... This is a, a sad day that if you want life-skilling gear, you go over to um, EU. But if you want to really do life skilling and have fun with it and make some money, you go to NA. The gear? No, don't don't worry about it. You get, you're not doing it. You're not doing it. EU's like, yeah, we got that shit on lock. We got it on stock. We got gear on gear on gear. We got all these materials. Will you make money? Fuck no. But we got supply. You could pre-order. You can get what you want. Just are you gonna have fun 
buying what you want to make what you you need to sell off to really are you really making money are you like i thought about starting on eu just for the the fact that the materials are readily available and mob grinding is not like it is on na because there's not a lot of mob grinders like on na it's just uh Still surprised that they did migrate OC players to see maybe they thought NA players were the only ones that could handle us. I don't know. I don't know. These are the same people that thought Unify meant copy and paste an icon at a full tip. No shade. No sh okay, no, there there's a lot of shade. Like how the fuck what the what does Unify mean to you? What does Unify mean to you? Merge it all into one and, and you know, just make it into a single fucking thing? I thought that's what unifying meant. Not copy and pasting the same fucking icon and tooltip on all the items and keeping them separate, but... Maybe I'm just American and I don't know how to English write. But something got lost. I'm still, I'm still a little salty about that. I have not ended my fucking rant from yesterday. That shit still is bugging me. I was ranting to my fiance about that earlier. That's how much it was bugging me. How the fuck do you drop the ball on the unification? That's not unifying. That's copy and pasting. That's all it is. How do you fuck up on that? I say something got, got lost. Now I don't even know what, what Prolibus is thinking. I can't even I can't even sit there and try to try to make a joke about what they're thinking or anything like that because I know they have some some backward ass logic. It's not their fault. You know, everything has to go through a translation. And it's also geared for the Korean game like player base. We're Western players, man. We have to remember that. We're not Korean players. We are not like the Asian community, we do not follow the same type of mindset. I think that's what it is, though. I think that's mainly what it is because we don't follow that mindset. Like, our mindset is so far from, like, what C has. They were like, nah, we are not letting them merge with, with NA. Like, yeah, no, don't do it. Don't do it. That's a lot of player suicide right there. We are not handling it. There we go. Remnants. 14 mil. Another 14. Oh, no, sorry. 20 mil. That'll help out. That'll go towards the... You see, 300... 700 mil that I've already put out. Like, let's be, let's be honest with you guys. Let's be honest. All right. Do you really think the Korean mindset would, would last or OCE mindset would last in North America? We are already bitching and complaining about having to do work. Like, we are complaining if we have to put in a, a week worth of dailies or a month of, of weeklies or anything like that. Like, nah. That shit is already too much. We want it right now. We want it like a scratch off. I just want to go into my log into my game, scratch off. Oh, no, look at that. Jackpot. Powerball. Is that what uh what people are playing these days? I don't know lottery. I don't gamble like that. I'm greedy. We are actually almost done with our alchemy. And I am running close on my time. So, I'm gonna... I'm probably gonna end it off after my fiancé calls me to let me know that she's on her way home so I can get done all of this and still show you guys how much we'll make. Because I was not expecting it to take this long to... Do the 1,000 craft cycling of the spirit perfumes. 
But we have 700. Almost 800. Now 800. So that should make us... I'm going to say off the top of my head, before taxes, a billion. So I met my quota for the day. I wanted to make back at least one billion. Do one bill per day, and it'll keep all of our bankruptcy away. Good saying, right? The stocking up of the fruit of nature was worth it. Definitely worth it. I'm going to... I think I might have to go back out and compare between bear herb gathering and the comma flower gathering. I just want to do the, the comparison. Because I really feel as though comma flowers get more of the fruit, whereas bear gets more of the experience. Like, you know, the, the elk gathering gets more of the the black gem fragments and any other ones where the rabbits get more of the black gems and then sniper hunting gets more of the concentrated. There's just certain little aspects of either gathering or hunting or whatever activity that is better for one item. And I feel like for the fruits of alchemy, it's flowers. Comma flowers all day, any day. But I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to compare the two. I'm gonna see... Like, um... Two hours, a uh, full complete two hour session of our comma flower gathering, and then I'll do another two hours of our bear herb gathering. And technically, I guess I can go out and do two hours of our herb gathering and just compare the two footages together because I already have the flower. I already did a nice little recording of how much it'll make me. So I think to make an actual video video, I'll do two hours of bear herb gathering to like show the two and i'll do it at the exact same mastery you know 2k 2k versus 2k nothing different just flowers versus herbs we'll put it to rest nine hundred and fourteen meaning yep 85 left cool Ooh, we're actually about to be done Seventy, sixty. Any day now. Any day now. All I got to do is list it up on the central market and we're good. Where is my fiance? Da, 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 da. Answering my fiance back. Uh, any recommendation on AFK fishing for money, or is it worthless? If you want to do any AFK fishing for money. I suggest heading out to Margoria out over here. If you want, you can fish here or you can fish out over here and it has the furthest distance out to Valencia, the highest valued fish. There are two prize grade fish that you can fish out there. I mean, technically from here all the way out to say here has prize grade fish that you can go fish for, but you can make anywhere from 450 mil onwards from AFK fishing out there and taking them all the way to Valencia and trading them into the normal trade manager. Don't do the Imperial trade. Imperial trade will knock the value down by at least 100 mil. So just doing your regular trading out there. If you have your Chim Chiang's Miraculous Fish Tank, that'll increase the, the value with not having them expire so quick. All right, we're finally done. Now let's list all of our spirit perfumes and find out how much we've made for this three hours of spirit perfume ingredient gathering out in Kama Sylvia and Dragon. 
Yeah, it's no problem, Albert. No problem. Any other questions, feel free to ask away. Or drop it down in a comment. Also, if you look in the description or on my YouTube channel, all that dumb shit, you should be able to join my Discord if you have any other questions. What am I doing? Right here. Okay, so for the three hours of Spirit Perfume Gathering, it's a little low, but we were able to make at least... What's that? Two bill now? Because that's... That's what... God... I don't know, but that's pretty low. We were able to make a 1.77 bill. I wish it was higher, but we didn't get enough materials. But hey, it's cool. It's cool. We'll we'll try again some other time. Maybe we can get more of those. I think I think I was down on the dead tree essence. I could have pushed it out to maybe 400 more, and I could have made back more. What's the Blackstone price in your region? There it. Max price and all sold out. I have been waiting for Jetna. I've been waiting. I'm stuck. I'm at the same boat as you, Regalum. I'm on the same boat. I just need 2k more. 2k more and I can finish this bracket out and start getting the 10k or the 11k that I need but out of stock uh, if you regulum I know it's going to be a little bit overpriced and you'll lose money out in the long run but one way you can do it is to get all the sharps and grind them down like that for your weapon um the blackstone weapons or you can take, or I guess not or, but you can also grab the gathering byproducts to exchange for the sharp black crystals to grind down into your weapon black stones too if you don't, if you can't get the pre-order through or any of that. It's going to be costly. It's going to gonna run up a, a lot more money than getting your stupid little black stones, but... If you don't have any of the hunter seals that you can get for doing your mob grinding, your hunting, and all that dumb shit, it's another way, I guess. But yeah, they they're all down all down on the the pre orders just because of that second accessory. But there you guys go. We were able to make at least I'm gonna just go with the a rounded up two bill two bill after taxes on getting the ingredients for the spirit perfume elixirs it wasn't the quickest way to, to make money i mean it was definitely a a nice way to change the scenery but if you guys are trying to make the money for alchemy not trying to to lose it with power leveling and you still want the experience and you like gathering for the rare drops and all Going out and getting enough materials to do 1,000 of the Spirit Perfume Elixirs will make you a huge amount of money. It's worth your time in just the drops and making the recipe. So go out there, do it. Like I said, I'm going to check to see which one is better between the flower gathering or the herb gathering for the fruits for alchemy. But I'm still going to go with the, the flower gathering out there in comma. But... Who knows? We'll see. It was great having you all in here. I am going to end this off now that it has been a great session. I made it back a lot of money. If you guys are watching me over there on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to me. Turn on all those notifications so you know when I go live, I come out with any new short video and or guide anything like that. If you guys are watching me over there on Twitch, be sure to follow me so you guys know when I go live again. It is it's always great coming back and talking to you guys helping you out and just like bullshitting around you know just playing around it doesn't really matter you guys make it enjoyable just being around you guys you know you're not just playing up or it's mine it's probably mine it's always probably always probably mine hell yeah thank you albert thank you for the follow over there on twitch you are amazing i will be back on tomorrow i don't know what i'll be doing but i will figure it out we will post it up on our community tab and just keep an eye out for that all right with all of that out of the way enjoy the rest of your weekend in black desert everyone and keep gathering out there night everyone